रहूँगा
Hmm. And good evening, everybody. This is yours truly, Kuku TV, and this is uh, Game Link's Coronation Season Two. I am with Sis Jenny onto my left side here, and now you see her. Now you will <laughs> say "ay ay ay" to the people. Ay 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 ay. Hello, Kuku. Right. Yeah, I'm 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 uh, I'm good here, uh, Sis Jenny. Uh, how are you doing after day one? of uh, the coronation finals mm, i'm confused because everybody was just so tactical and and it can be anybody's game so i've never been so confused before after watching a pubg match yep right but day number one was dominated by the thai team day and they got three chicken dinners last night so again, guys, before we even uh, proceed on talking about that, uh, we will actually show you the results from last night. Again, this is Game Link's PUBG Mobile Coronation Season 2. This is for 5,000 Singaporean dollars of a price pool. And Sis Jenny, can you please tell the viewers how will be the price pool be shared? Okay, so I shared this yesterday. So let me just do a recap. So it's going yep. to be a $5,000 price pool, which is going to be... Uh, approximately about 3,700 USD dollars. That's a lot of money, but, 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 this money will not just go to one team. In fact, it will be segregated to five different teams. So at number one, um, we'll be bringing home about $2,000. At number two, uh, we'll be bringing home at $1,000. And then number three, 600. Number four, 400. And number five, 200. Right. And I actually uh, like what you said yesterday that you can buy two iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> iPhone, uh, is it 12 or is it the 11? <laughs> this is my phone now. Oh my god, wow. I'm so flexing. <laughs> but I'm using it for PUBG, so yeah. Nice, nice. Well, anyways, guys, again, from day number one, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, results here while we're at it. Uh, again, day number one, three chicken dinners for day, one chicken dinner for limited rampage, and one dinner for Tokyo Striker. PMPL2. It seems like, uh, uh, Sis Jenny, that we are actually still being dominated by the Thailand uh, PUBG Mobile community, right? Yes, again. <laughs> All over yeah. again. I, I think they are just um, naturally um, a good like good teams comes mostly from that region most of the time. That I, I This is through my observation, but that doesn't mean the rest of the other regions is not good. It's just that it's, it's usually them, you know? <laughs> you have right. that. You yeah. are correct. And uh, you know what? I actually thought, like, on the global semifinals, I thought that this is going to be the day wherein Myanmar teams will shine. But look at now the Myanmar teams. They're down. Uh, the, the, the very highest one is actually AOJ, or Army of Justice, currently at 7. Uh, my question now for you, Sis Jenny, uh, are you going to still root for, for Army of Justice here? on day number two and you know might as well see them on top five mm, yes but actually i kind of want to see r4mg also because i really i remembered how they dominated in the semi-global finals on the first day they mm -hmm. were at number one with 84 points and the rest was like 50 so it was really hard for the teams to catch up during the semi-global so i might be rooting for r4mg Right, and uh, actually, yes, R4MG, a really good team from the global semifinals. We're not really sure why they're now currently at the bottom spot here. Uh, not really bottom, just in the middle at the eighth uh, spot, together with the DS Esports. And thank you so much for correcting us about the uh, pronunciation for DS Esports. Uh, by the way, we are actually about to start now here, Sis Jenny. This is match number six of the global finals, and there you go. We're going to see all of the 18 teams that were listed on that results page. And guys, uh, by the way, uh, if you don't know yet, if you're just watching right now, uh, supposedly we're, we're, we're 16 teams, but there there are two teams who has a direct invite coming from mm -hmm. Ace of Asia Season 2 and Ace of Asia Season 3, which, which is Onyx Esports and Active Hydra, or now called 
uh, Divinity, Thailand. And with these two uh, added, uh, Sis Jenny, I think I think it actually changed the the landscape of this whole finals, right? Yes, definitely. Um, if you guys were to see the game yesterday, DVT was dominating for the first three match. Um, yeah, so I I would say that yes, it it kind of changed a few teams. Um, on how they actually try to tackle the map, but again, uh, it might just be uh, it just it, it might just be a warm up session for them. So it. Probably these teams, they will already understand how the other teams play and uh, they will definitely try to perform tonight. Yes, and hopefully other teams like uh, we have Orange Esports, we have Blacklist International down on the bottom spot. These are teams that actually topped the last major tournament in uh, gambling. And actually, speaking of uh, topping the, the, the scoreboard in the last major tournament that we had, uh, Blacklist International was at second place in that major tournament. Now they're currently at the bottom spot, and I've been talking to their captain, Alas. Uh, they're just having a hard time going for that rotation. They they actually kind of changed their way of dropping to the map of all of these uh, maps like Erangel, Miramar, and Vikendi. Uh, normally they drop to Severny, but uh, yesterday or last night, since Jenny, if you notice them, they were dropping at Rozok. So they kind of changed how they played. Uh, their game and looks like it's it's totally affecting them right definitely it did because they usually would not perform like that but yeah i was i was shocked myself to see that they were at the bottom yes indeed and now look at the flight path here says jenny it's kind of middle about wow. middle <laughs> uh middle diagonal uh, flight path here coming from the southwest side going to the to the peakest point of stalber and we're gonna see our teams going to their usual spots. I think they know already uh, where the other teams are dropping, right? So they will maybe yeah. will try to avoid all of these top teams, including uh, Team Day from Thailand. Yes, most definitely. Um, I think Team Day would go into military base. Yeah, it seems like they are going into that area. Um, yes, I probably the only teams that will be close to them is probably that is Team 4 right now who is gliding a bit close to um, Day, which is I think is AOJ, right? Yeah, that's Army of Justice, team number mm -hmm. four, and looks like they're going to battle for whatever uh, vehicle. It looks like Nier already got the buggy. He actually stole it away from one of the players, which is Bar Solar here, uh, which most likely he will just try to loot up here, uh, says Jenny, right? <laughs> yeah, most likely, because uh, the first person gets the first loot. <laughs> Right, I mean, and the, for the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it looks like we're we're gonna have the same of uh, uh, drop points for I think all of them. And uh, again, they're just gonna try to make things right now for this day. And ooh, look at look at Booney here. Uh, I think he changed his name. I think they changed their name. Uh, this is oh, Team Legacy. Yes. Yeah, did they do that? Yeah, they 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 changed their name. Of a uh, good thing that the uh, the league of uh, of gaming allowed them to do so. But anyways, Bune here is gonna try to land to where Onyx Esports is at. And one of the one of the players I actually see on Onyx Esports is Zooms. Uh, did you know that Zooms came from Purple Mood Esports? No wonder the name is familiar because yes, I am actually a, a, a fan of Purple Mode, um, like RQ also. So I realized this name yesterday. I was like thinking, this can't be this guy. But since <laughs> you say that, then what? Okay, interesting. Yeah, he is Zooms from Purple Mood Esports. He's the guy with a with a funny face in PMCO. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Yes. Oh wow, interesting. Oh, look at the knockouts that is from SIG there. Um, let's take a look. Oh, already. Oh, and real K will get taken down and now going to be pushing. Limited Rampage here. Kendo will try to push in as well. And oh, it's only going to be uh, Mr. Emoji left and he's going to be taken out as well. So it looks like our team Limited Rampage will be down to two players. Oh my goodness. Yeah, aye, aye, aye. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, aye, 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 guys. That is so early in the match. It's barely 10 minutes and oh. Ooh, they are starting at a feisty stage right now. I think probably they realize that they got to do something in order to get to the top five. Yes, and this is going to be uh, in Georgia Pole. Jabranki down to just 
probably 10 HP left, and this is Team X-Force. Uh, looks like Krim already had rotated at this side. I'm not sure where he's, uh, his other teammates are at. Probably just looting just right around this area as well. But he's going to try to bail out here, says Jenny. Again, you're going to be on a 4v1 situation. So it's best for you to run away as fast as you could. Looks like he's going to go for the, for the buggy, but this is going to be in an open area. Yes, uh, but I realize um, in Hedgar, they like to play in the open. So I guess this might, it might be their strength. Oh, might be, right? Mm-hmm, it might be. And uh, yeah, there we go. You are correct here. Team Day went to military base, but AOJ is going to be trying to do, do that uh, that bridge camp, right? Yep. Yeah, for probably for Day to cross in. Pro because they were gliding together, so they realized that it was another team. So definitely they were trying to do something to stop that team from coming in. And looking at the circle, it's hard to see whether it's on the mainland or it's in Sovnoska. Right, and uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Team Onyx Esports. They're currently nearby uh, Team uh, Legacy. Team uh, Legacy, uh, one of the teams uh, actually who won uh, in the PMIL or the Hive Esports International Tournament. Uh, they are actually a combination of the top players from that tournament. So they basically are, it's kind of like an all-star team, uh, to be honest. It's an all-star team combination of really good players and they actually mesh well together and they are currently at second place right now in the scoreboard yes uh we've seen um yesterday they keep getting into the kill feed for every map and yes they got kills and i would really say that these teams is very careful with the way they shoot it make it's like when they when they shoot it makes it, it must be worth that it lands straight to kill. So I would really say that this team is some te it's a team that you have to be careful with when you are actually being contested by them. And uh, one of the good players that they have is uh, Bune, or I'm not sure if it's Boone yeah. or Bune. <laughs> Again, this team is from Mongolia, so everyone who's watching right now from Mongolia, please spam those chats here and don't forget <laughs> to, to share this live stream across uh, all of the social media outlets there like Facebook. You can even share it on Instagram, right? <laughs> Yes, please. You can just share it anywhere. Like I was saying yesterday, sharing is caring. And I know PMGC is on because um, on the other side, Mazma is actually watching that. But guys, this is the last day for this match. And there is good all-star uh, teams here also. And they need to win this. Uh, like, they need to win cash money for this. So it is important to give that support for these teams, guys. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of money that's going to be uh, won. If ever you're gonna be, I mean, even even on top of five, right? Like that's still good cash money, and you can make the most out of it. Like maybe buy a burger from McDonald's, right? <laughs> uh, for for Singapore, of course, uh, it's not so much. But for other regions, I think there is a lot for you guys, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. I just uh, yeah. ate uh, the secret menu of McDonald's uh, last weekend. It was so much. This is Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's so so huge of a of a burger. But anyways, Orange Esports. Again, Orange Esports, uh this team, uh previously uh some of the players came from Anchor PUBG or APG, but there are mm -hmm. some like uh Pub Pub or even Astro X who actually came from the original uh Orange Esports team, so we don't see the 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 players before like Stalker or even Leon, so Again, this is a brand new team. They are probably trying to adjust to the situation. And I can hear my dog barking here. <laughs> hey, hungry. hey, Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and um, most definitely agree to what you said. This is a new lineup, and uh, I would say it's very interesting because uh, they have a different gameplay in as a whole. They are a bit on the tactical side. Um, they will really kind of, you know, when you are in front of the enemy and you just want to push, this is the team where actually they will make you trigger with your, you know, like you get mind boggled. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't gauge whether this team is going to push or not so i've seen how they are contesting with another team right in front so they're really going to get the other opponent you know a bit on the less patience they are not they will be so you know a bit boggled with the fact that uh, there's another team that's pushing but they're not pushing they're just like oh my god when are you going to come out <laughs> yeah so it's, it's kind of like uh, mind games basically is what you're trying to it's say mind games yes yeah, it's just mind Sorry, games no, <laughs> for each team and yeah yeah you are correct with that one 
uh, Sischeni, but there you go. We're going to see uh, another knockdown on the kill feed between the Malaysian squad, ESDK, Ravians, okay. and TDX H2E from Pakistan. Let's see oh, yeah. if Pakistan is in the back here. Let's, get out. Let's go, go ahead and take a look at the aerial ground here. Uh, we still have four members left standing for TDX, H2E, Magic is currently knocked down. We'll try to crawl his way through one of his teammates. It is going to be a, a a systematic push here coming from uh, TDX, H2E. Look, look at Dread right now. Dread is just pushing to the left He's... side of, of their perspective. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to flank quite far, uh, knowing that that is the vulnerable position for ESDK. But... Do you know that they actually meet at the same place? Uh, yesterday, another Ooh. one goes down with a nade, guys. What a good nade. And what a good nade they're coming from the Pakistan team. And ooh, Ben will actually get hit as well. Down to half HP left. Looks like TDX H2E get, gets the better of them. And now mm -hmm. they're they're on the run, on the push. On the push now, Sis Jenny, as we look on the aerial spot here. It's so be it's so beautiful how they throw the grenades. It's so accurate, right? Yes, accurate and also they were playing with good angles. And yes, Jacob has taken Ben down already. So we are left with Rush. Is yeah, this gonna be the end for ESDK? Yeah, and now we see Rush just rushing away from the Pakistanis. Frankie mm -hmm. is just uh currently knocked down there. Maybe we'll try to get him revive, but Jacob and the gang is now going to try to push in. And there yes. we go, Jacob sees Frankie, damaging him to low HP. But now we see also Anchor PUBG against AOJ on the kill feed. Sis Jenny, let's, let's check if Rush can try to survive this. I think they know where he is now. Yes. Um, I think they might try to find him, but if, you know they kind of miss out the grasses, then it might be a waste for them not to find that one last member. Yeah, and, and you can't you can't be the bush always. <laughs> you cannot be the bush always. This is not the and other look at game. Dread. Oh yeah, dread. <laughs> he passed by. Uh, that scout. was super close to a rush. Let's see if he if he can actually get killed here. Yeah. These, these players, uh Sis Jenny, they really have good eyes, you know. Like, e yeah. even even myself, if uh, I see them, or I if I see some enemy, I really have to look, like, closely to my uh, to my phone or to my mobile device. But with mm -hmm. these players, they're really good with their eyes, and they can just see uh, these enemies really easy. Yes. But, again, but again, Rush is doing a good job here by hiding in the bush. Yeah, actually, it's quite good for ESDK to do this, because um, I would do that also. Like, I will stay close to an enemy... But I will try not to be seen because that is where the last uh, kind of engagement that you will give as an opponent trying to find. Because the only thing you're thinking, oh, he must have run into Pochinki. And that's where the entire team will go uh, bonkers and try to find that player when actually I'm just right in front of you. <laughs> Alright, th there's uh, a bunch of them, like three enemies right now, just at the back. One yep. in front. Dread is still finding a Rush. And look, look he might. You might try to run him over here, just Jenny. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that is so clever of Dread, man. This guy. Ay, ay, ay. He's so good. <laughs> it's like, you blow my cover! Ay, ay, ay. I'll, I'll, uh. <laughs> I'll do the ay, ay, ay as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it's okay, you can. And where but, are you taking uh, it? But we are looking at uh, Team Blacklist International. This is kind of the same uh, situation in Erangel in the first game uh, yesterday. Like Tyra is hiding behind this uh, this house yeah. we're in. There's a there's a window with all of those plywood. Yes. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's similar. It's similar. And then there's an M24 uh, from Team SIG yesterday. But now it's a different team. It's Tokyo Striker who is actually a uh, kind of con. I don't, I don't know if they know each other, like, they know that there's another team on the other side. Do they know that? I think they don't know, but, ooh, look at Aeons. Aeons holding a mutant. MK Mutant 47. Interesting gun here being used by Aeons. And again, Aeons is the sniper of, uh, of Blacklist International from the Philippines. He might be able to actually, ooh, he actually got headshot there. You don't yep. peek against Tokyo Striker. They are a really good team. They came from uh, the PMPL uh, League in Thailand, so 
They are a really experienced team here. I mean, same same goes with Blacklist International, but for me, Tokyo Striker is uh, far better with their skills, in my opinion. Yes, and yep, I would agree with that because uh, Tokyo Striker, um, their skill sets are like specially for per for per for player like they have this person for this sniping and that 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 and it's like a one shot one kill wonder for certain players but also i've seen good uh sniper in blacklist i think if i'm not wrong like you were saying it's aeon uh just yeah. that i think they are choosing this place because it's actually how they rotated yesterday and they kind of survive longer so that's probably why they are using the same strategy for today at least if they can't really have the battle be, uh get the battle they try to get the circle and also they try to get the survival points because if you are too soon, then it's going to be a waste. Right, and one of the players of uh, DS Esports already got taken down here. That's Kendo, who actually pushed at Limited Rampage. But again, Limited Rampage is down to two players left, mm -hmm. so they have the advantage here. Now, Ferris will try to go for the grenade. Coming over to Real K, and ooh, he got damage a bit there. Yep. Damage a little bit to flakes and oh I think Diaz is just going to oh another knockout there by SES Suicide Squad they coming into the picture. Oh, yeah, they actually third party <laughs> they third party right. that one and oh look at mm -hmm. Ferris Ferris with the grenade Kobe inside that house he's gonna get taken down Kendo with that grenade. Wow. That is a really interesting for Ferris. Ay, 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 and look at Winter coming into the door. And oh, yeah, he can't escape, bro. Right now, he gotta battle it out. And I don't think it's gonna be good for the Winter Rampage. He might not be on the straight to the chest. And he goes down. Limited and Rampage is at number 17. Yeah, and Limited Rampage actually is trying to actually make their way through the top five. Maybe this is uh, not their match right now, but let's switch it over yeah. here to uh, the Pakistanis again. Uh, they're up against team number eight, which is team X-Force. Interesting. I've, I've, it has been very quiet for X-Force because um, I don't know, they were like not being themselves also yesterday because I remembered how feisty they were. But yesterday, they were, they were being more conservative for the five matches. So I'm waiting for that time that they would try to be that same X-Force that I once knew who comes in with a storm. And uh, you know what, Team X-Force got a, a really good last game last night in Miramar. And maybe they can use that momentum going into the second day and have a better outing. And ooh, there you go, R4MG. R4MG. One of the teams that you're looking at, uh, Sis Jenny. Yeah, and what a way to knock out. How did they get that? Uh, it's kind of, oh, it's, it's actually over here. Hmm, interesting. So it's a far, and you know what I realized yesterday, there's a whole lot of third party. So it's like when this team and this team was fighting and then there's another team who gets the kill. So I realized that was how uh, the game was played yesterday. Right, and you know what? The circle is actually not going to the military base uh, right. this time around. So it's going to be a really easy uh, task here for our uh, teams to actually uh, get in position. Because usually for, for custom games, uh, since Jenny, normally it's actually down south in the Subsnavka Island. It's been like uh, so many times that I've seen that uh, type of circle. But now it's going to the north or to the just in the middle of the map here. In the middle, yeah. But actually I prefer this kind of uh, circle because every time it's Sovnoska, people will just have that bloodbath near the hills or at the, or at the bridge. So it, it's kind of like not really challenging but for this one it's challenging because the teams have to rotate their way in faster and and the shit the, the zone just sh shifted again look at that yeah look at that and uh you call this the potato mountain where anjar esports is at i heard mm -hmm. i heard that from you last night that's the first time i heard of that potato mountain yeah, it's a potato hill <laughs> <laughs> yeah Whoa. potato hill because it, it's apparently it looks like a potato look at that and look at this we're gonna see a lot of uh, cars passing by each other. Onyx Esports just passed by R4MG, and they're gonna pass by as well. The Pakistanis, oh, he actually uh, hit the, the the fence there. Good thing he got control of the uh, the car here or the buggy, and they're gonna go to where they they want to be here. And again, it's just a dangerous uh, rotation coming from uh, Team Onyx Esports. Also, same goes with R4MG. They just came by, passed by, and Esports. 
And they are now um, right in the middle of where Iron Hedra is. Look at NetX life. Yeah, it's pretty low already. Um, I'm not sure. I think we have to battle this out then. Ooh, shots coming in. And Black, Black Ace is getting r 4 MG from a distance. Yeah, and they're going for that third party action. But they are actually getting pushed from above. Look at the situation from above here. Yes, and Ayn Hejar is just holding on to their fort, holding on to that potato hill, and not letting anybody in. Oh, the, but there's a lot of killing right now, Kuku. And there's a lot of kills getting uh, done here by the teams, and ooh, Jubrenki just finishing off, but Jubrenki will get hit by Tyra. Tyra from Blacklist International just going for that third party action. I would say it's really smart for Blacklist to switch their gameplay because I probably, uh, after watching the match yesterday, some of these teams realized that there's a whole lot of third party going on. So probably today those teams will change their mindset and they will just try to get kills once they see anybody in the crosshair because there was a few teams that was only doing that third party yesterday. So I think today, most of these teams will change their gameplay and be that third party. And look at, uh, look at Team Legacy right now. They're on the push here. The team only sees force, but Boone will actually get killed by Zooms and Zooms introducing his name here with Onyx Esports. Now Scry or Scree here will try to go for the revive for hypes. Team Legacy, uh, after like three games or four games, they kind of like went down with their gameplay. I'm not sure what happened to them. I think it's just a warm up for them. We're going to see them coming up later, definitely. And now we will see Onyx your telly. Now, trying to cook up a grenade, it might be going to where Scry is. Nope, he actually got da got damaged for a bit there as well. Mm -mm. Yeah. But Onyx Esports is on the push. Let's see if they can defend themselves here. This is actually a really bad Ooh. position, and there you go. They got wiped out by the Thai team, out. Onyx Esports, the champions wow. of Ace of Asia Season 2. Yes, and now then we are really seeing them waking up and uh, rising onto the bar. This is the Onyx that I once knew. Yeah, and the with zooms now in there in the picture, right? More firepower and Krim. The Von X will also get taken down here again. X Force. I was just saying that uh, they want uh, they actually got a good placement on uh, game number five or match five, but now look look at them right now. They're just getting killed by the Pakistanis. Yes, um, I would say the position for that is quite unlucky for them because they are in the open and uh, the Pakistani, they, not only they have the top part, they have a compound. So obviously, um, advantage will go directly to X4, uh, sorry, uh, the, the Pakistani team. Yeah, and it's going to be a really big advantage. Uh, team X-Force actually tried to go to uh, the bot house where uh, TDX H2 is at. You know, you know what I mean, right? The bot house. Yeah. Where mm -hmm. there's so many bots in classic matches, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I understand that. Ooh. Right, but that's a cool name. Look at the circle now. Oh wow! It's going towards where the school is. Interesting. And there's so many teams from the south side, sis Jenny. So there's gonna be a bunch of rotations coming from the south side. And look at what they're doing now. They're they're riding up to their cars. We have Blacklist. Mm -hmm. I, uh, we have Tokyo Striker, Angel, DVT as well, DS Esports as well, doing their rotation. It is going to be pandemonium inside that circle. And look at Zen. And I think they are passing by R4MG. And look at that team 18. Uh, the only guy left, Zen. Oh dear. Bye. I... He's getting it from, from behind. Getting it from behind as well. He's just boxed in right now. Zen is using the uh, AKM. Oh. He actually knocks one down, but no. That's just way too much. 4v1 situation. And it's pretty normal to see an Indonesian team to do that. What they call is they will bar bar. And if they realize there's only one or a few of them in the compound, and they will just boom, they will push and kill. What do they call it again? Bar bar? Bar bar. Yeah, it means like to come in and fight till death. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. That is some new learnings for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Coming from okay. Sis Jenny. Ay, ay, ay. New learnings for Kuku TV. <laughs> and now let's look at Orange Esports. Still really quiet right now for them. Uno and Pub Pub uh, already got a, a good compound. Look, look, at, look at Blacklist. They're just in the middle. Taking the middle portion of the map. And there's so many teams as well pushing at their area. Uh, TDX H2E, you see that uh, UAZ just passing by, 
And mm -hmm. I think there's going to be uh, an engagement here at the apartment areas where AOJ and... This is, uh, I think, TDX? Yep, TDX. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know something unique about Black Lace? They have always uh, tried to take the middle compound of that uh, particular circle. They have always loved the middle. Is it what they are always... Is that usually how they rotate, Rukuku? Well, I mean, you see from PMGC, like all of these top teams goes to the... They go to the middle. They go to the middle. They, they want to get that higher chance of getting that circle. And that's what they're trying to do probably here. But ooh, we, we see there Wasabi from uh, DVT able to actually get knocked down by Winter. And ooh, Winter will get taken down here by Fluent. Okay. There we go. DVT quick, is coming up. A quick kill sweep here for Team DVT. Now only two players left. Kendo and... Uh, and then we have uh, Real K, who's down to low HP. Not sure why he's not healing, but there we go. He got healed up. Mm -hmm. Oh, Wasabi got I... seen there. Oh, Wasabi. But we hear a lot of spray, spray, spray. Yes. <laughs> tap, 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 spray, spray, spray. <laughs> uh -huh. There's a lot of fight here, like Orange, and then there's uh, Suicide Squaddy who just barged in. And then I think Team 7 is the one that is spraying away, uh, which is SIG. Yes, and Wasabi, I think Wasabi has really no choice here. But just to give give his body to someone. <laughs> yes. And get, get killed there. Ooh, and ooh, what an ooh. AWM shot coming from uh, one of the players of HR. Knocks down Tyra on the kill feed. Fluent gets taken down there. Blacklist here from SIG. Getting damage from afar. And the circle has shifted again. Look, look, look at the, uh, the circle. The circle has oh went hard shift to the north. Now hard shift to the southwest. Wow. Wow, and it's gonna be an apartment circle, bro. I've never gotten this kind of circle before. This is so and I, I, I've, I've seen this in a PMCO match before, uh, Sis Jenny. It, it's it's kind of like uh, the C finals, if I'm not uh -huh. mistaken. And it's just so much uh, camping in all in all those apartments. Oh, man, like <laughs> the amount of grenades that. People is gonna throw in. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy here. But uh, DVT Thailand here is currently stuck at this uh, far side, uh, east side of the the whole zone. Looks like SIG is gonna try to plan now on getting through the circle because it is now 20 seconds left. D Us Esports is doing the same thing. And oh, looks like Kendo. That's a. I think that's an error for him because he's he's not supposed to. You know bump at that uh, at that uh, rock right yeah definitely because um i don't think this is what they wanted to do and you see there claire with the uh m4 spray going to the uh ooh, they actually have angel esports from above now getting pushed by tokyo striker emiliano and jubranki are the the two players left standing here from the indonesians pikachu i got you i choose you you will be taken down here jubranki is the last guy left here for the indonesians yes and jubranki just is dancing in the smoke for now and um he knows that he's actually being pushed by so many of them and this might not be looking good for jubranki at all yeah, and I like I like what you said there. Dancing in the smoke. <laughs> it's like you're uh, gonna write a song, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it is. It, usually, when people deploy the smoke, they will do that dance. You know, like triangle diamond, just so that they don't do that spray. Right, and uh, Jabrinki down to half HP. Tokyo's. Oh, look at the circle now. Circle is with day. Day st yeah. still. Is really good with that uh, prediction. Yes. Prediction again, guys. Again, guys. Uh, they have been predicting, but again, uh, 25 near apparently got knocked out. I maybe there's no good cover for them. A bit too open for for day, I would say. Yes, and uh, look look at the people at apartments. It's kind of like there's fiesta at the apartments. There's so many teams. Yes, That's, I think it's the birthday of Pop Pop. <laughs> Because if you see the names, you can see all the different colors from the top. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> it's like a confetti. For for but us it's... casters, it's uh, colors to our eyes, you know. Yes, man. <laughs> and I would really say it's never easy to have a house battle or a house compound battle because it's like 
you can't do sprays you have to do taps the moment you spray people will just use the wall to hide so this is one of the uh, i do not like this kind of fight actually for apartments and look at onyx getting a day and having only nosy left for the team Right, and it uh, looks like Sea Sky only is going to try to push into the circle here. Uh, we'll secure that, uh, I think, east side part of that circle. Jubrenki will also do the same thing. We'll go for the south side area. But again, uh, for Blacklist International, this is going to be a difficult task for them. They don't have any vehicles anymore. So their vehicles are already smoked up. They will just try to use the, the smoke in order for them to get inside. Uh, Team Onyx Esports will have a good view from top. Yes, and... Let's hope Onyx Esports will be distracted with other teams that's coming in so that it will be a clear chance for Blacklist to enter. Because it's just an inch bit in front. And look at the look at the mayhem here. Pandemonium happening in apartments, but Barcelar will bow, bow down there. Black is still alive, I think, and Black is still healing up, but looks like he's gonna be dead there. There we go. Uh AOJ Snoop just able to get inside there. What a what a good way to actually uh, survive here in our first game. It's just an open circle right now. Open area yes. for everybody. And it's no actually got dropped. Land. Yeah, no man's land here. Uh, by the way, Baron is uh, knocked down already. Where is his yep. other teammate? I'm trying to locate. Oh, he's still in the apartment. Can you see that? Yeah, he's Blacklist landing. trying to do the healing game. Oh, Jumbrenki will get taken out by the grenade. Oh. Come from New Zealand, nice. alas will be taken out as well. Tyra and Claire are the only man standing for Blacklist from the Philippines. It was like blank shots, you know, and they kind of like knew somebody was in the smoke and uh, I thought they would get distracted, but no, Blacklist. Oh, but Tyra getting a knockout there, but oh, being spotted from afar. Ay, ay, ay. Not good, uh, not good. Yeah, not good for Blacklist indeed. And now we have uh, six teams remaining now. Look at the circle again. It shifted to where Snoop is and claire got killed there so sixth place goes to blacklist international still mm -hmm. onyx esports has the number advantage yes and if you realize again yesterday like i was emphasizing about the third party they was just doing it again they seem to be um they know their surrounding very well that when they see somebody that is not oh, they immediately look, get the kill look at the grenade coming inside now they are forced to get outside the esports here will yeah. get destroyed, and now only one player left. This is real KP. How is he even getting that? <laughs> He's gonna get pushed here, and guys, this is not gonna look good for the uh, This is oh, not nice. Good for them. That is a nice shot there with the M762 dropping him down. Snoop, I'll call him Snoop Dog from AOJ. <laughs> Still alive here, but there's a grenade! Oh! Wow! Nice one from Onyx there, Sembei. Oh, another nade coming into the shed, but... Ooh, he's coming out. Oh, my gosh, that zooms there! 2v1 situation ooh. now, all of a sudden. And Nuzi will get killed there. Two teams remain. DS Esports from Myanmar, or will it be Onyx Esports? Ay ay ay. Oh no, he has changed the entire gameplay. He gotta do that push right now because uh, if not, then the entire team will be revived. Come on, Diaz, you gotta get out. This is the time where you get out and fight. Yeah, and, and maybe you can throw a grenade over as well. But he actually pushed in way too uh, early. Uh, says Jenny, he might probably just try to loot up. But there you go. Our first chicken dinner comes to the team of Zooms. And this is Team Onyx Esports. The, uh, the champions of Ace of Asia Season 2. What a way to start our first match here, or technically the sixth match of the finals. Uh, Sis Jenny, what can you say? What can you tell the viewers about this? I would say this is a reverse game, a total reverse game, because uh, those teams, actually most of the teams on the top 5 today, uh, sorry, on the right. top 10 today, are actually different from yesterday so actually the teams that was at the bottom are actually performing right now so they kind of did the study uh for yesterday's game and these teams are going to do a different gameplay i would say that right and uh day day i want to i want to i want to focus on day day is still really consistent they Very still consistent. got third place man yes, they got man. third and place <laughs> wow <laughs> And still getting those uh, third-party kills because just now when Blacklist Tyla, uh, Tyra was down, uh, Tyra was being taken down by Onyx. But 
from where Nuzi was, which was behind the tree, he kind of know how to read the kill feed and kind of know how to gauge where the shots came from. And he immediately kills that person that was just being knocked out by Onyx. And he got the kill. And right after that, he's able to locate Kyla and take that Kyla out also. So I guess one of the strengths for Day is they kind of know how to read the kill feed. At the same time, kind of know also how to gauge where the shots came from and immediately turn their screens and get that kill still. Right, and... Uh... Team Day really good with that those uh, kill steal right. I mean, if yeah. you if you saw the Miramar match, the last Miramar match last night, I I, I watched that uh, uh, that match. They just went on top of that mountain and just killed every li living piece of player who's trying to get closer to the circle. And they they got their position intact as well, killing uh, Team X Force at that re uh, that end of that game. So again, yes. we see Team Day. If, if they continue on with this type of gameplay, says Jenny, they will be the champions. Again, if they, they get killed really early, say mm -hmm. for example, game or match 7, 8, 9, and 10, mm -hmm. probably they might be taken over by someone else because if you actually get killed, killed too soon, uh, I think that's uh, top uh, 12 going down to top 18. You get no points. You get donut. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, what, so like what Mr. Uh, AJ the Mustache would say, the donut. <laughs> you get, get the donuts. donut and you, you, your points will not actually add up. So you might not be the champions. But again, Team Day securing that top three place here in match number six. And still being consistent again, guys. Uh, we're gonna see the the live results in a few uh, moments from right now. Once we get confirmation here from our league ops, uh, I'm not sure if it's already on, but let me try to check. Let me try to check here so that uh, we won't go on break right away, right? So, uh, yeah, the the scores are not yet in, sis Jenny. So we're gonna be right back here on a short break. Guys, this is Game Link's PUBG Mobile Coronation Season 2. My name is Kuku TV. I have here Sis Jenny on to my left. We'll be right back with the... Oh, actually, no. We will be now announcing the live results. Because I oh, just got word. Yeah, I just got word. <laughs> no, nice. we're not going to go to break. <laughs> we're going to go to the results. <laughs> All right. And uh, I think not yet. <laughs> let, let me try to refresh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, so yeah, the scores good. are up, and coming from wow. top 18, we have Orange Esports still not having a really great time here in the finals. Mm -hmm. On 17th, we have Anchor PUBG and AHR Esports. 16th, Suicide Squad. This is kind of surprising for Suicide Squad, to be honest. Uh, they're currently at top 15. Also, same goes with Blacklist International at 14. Onyx Esports, uh, they got... Uh, they are chicken they dinner, up. so they so they climbed up. They mm -hmm. climbed up, and now at 13, Team X Force currently still at 12, 11, Divinity TH, TDX H2E from Pakistan at 10, and you can continue on, Mrs. Jenny. And at number nine, we got for Myanmar, reborn for my goddess. With um, um, I'm, I won't read the points, but then after that, we got Limited Rampage, kind of dropping down a little bit because they were actually um, if I'm not wrong, yesterday on their third match, they were at at number three and then no number two and then they were at number three and then now they have really um you know kind of like dropped down even more and they gotta try and keep up to how they were performing yesterday so that they get to save that top five positions for limited rampage and then we got Diaz Esports from Myanmar at number 7. Um, still a little bit consistent. I mean, they can still perform. We've seen how they can kill and how they how fast they are. Uh, so it's still too early to gauge for Diaz. And Tokyo Striker is another team worthy to talk about. Because you know what? Onyx and Tokyo Striker were at the bottom yesterday. Literally at number 17 and 18. But look at how they are climbing up. And look at Tokyo Striker from number 17. Um, the first three matches... No, the, the first three matches, and then after that, they totally take the notch up and move up into the top top five, in fact, yesterday. But even though Tokyo Striker is still at number six, it's still too early to say. And then after that, we've got ESDK Rivens from Malaysia. And then number four, we've got Army of Justice. Um, Do you want to do number three and um, two and one? Yeah, sure. We have Team Legacy currently at third. Uh, SIG uh, currently at second. And lastly, Day. 
already got a, a total amount of 120 points. And it's and, and it's all because of the kills. Look, 53 kills. The oh, highest crack kills. Yeah, holy crack and moly. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because they are so fast with the kills still. You should even you seen how they were like so fast. They were like, okay, somebody knocked somebody out, and then like, okay, I'm gonna get that kill. Took take it. You know, like yeah. what? It's kind of like I, uh, I you're stealing mm -hmm. candies, like when you're a kid. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like to the moment that I, if I was a player, I'll be like so annoyed with day, but it's a good annoyed, you know, because they are good at that uh, engagement. They kind of know where to turn just to get that one bullet in, and that's my kill. Nani nani <laughs> <laughs> You know? Right, oh, right. Yeah. And uh, again, they're really good with the, those kills. That's making the, 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 the big difference right now, uh, sis Jenny. And that's why they're currently at top number one. If someone else would do the same uh, technique or strategy here coming into games or match 7, 8, 9, and 10, they might, you know, eliminate Day from that top number one spot. And uh, again, SIG or Team Legacy might be able to do that, right? Yes, uh, I would say it's Team Legacy. Uh, they kind of like have that same... Um, my uh, same tactic uh, like how they played yesterday so they might be able to um kind of like take over day if they get one more like chicken or two more chicken dinner the kills is not that far behind they just gotta get 20 kills and knowing team legacy sig is easy for them yeah and the uh, team legacy again with their change of name maybe that would give them you know a big booster for for match 7s, 8, 9, and 10. We're going to be actually uh, in the map of uh, Miramar. Sis Jenny. And uh, I would advise you to come into the room. Because we still have a few sec a few minutes. <laughs> in our uh, waiting time here. But uh, for the meantime guys. Uh, again. This is Kuku TV. Together with Sis Jenny here. On to my left side. Again this is the Game Incarnation. PUBG Mobile Season 2. For 5,000 singaporean dollars we'll be right back guys in this short break see you guys yeah
And we are right back here, guys, with Game Link's PUBG Mobile Coronation Season 2. And guys, uh, before we actually even continue here, again, uh, I am Cuckoo TV together with Sis Jenny. Before we do continue, guys, uh, we or if you want to join in uh, tournaments like these, uh, what happened to your uh, camera? I'm not sure. All right, Sorry. there you go. <laughs> Anyways, before before we continue on, I, I was just saying that if you want to join in these type of tournaments, you can go visit the website of GameLink. Go to www.gameling.net or if you are holding your phones right now, please don't forget that we are now available on your apps. So our app store or Android, uh, you have to go to a website, which is www.gameling.net gameling.net forward slash app but again for ios devices if you, if you have an ipad or an iphone you can go directly to the app store search for gameling and download the gameling app right now uh guys we will have more tournaments to come uh it's already december 1st so we'll have more to come here for pubg mobile uh call of duty mobile and even others like clash royale or even valorant so guys we are actually about to start now with match number seven yeah, so we're going to fly over to the Sandy Sands of Miramar, just like what Cuckoo would say. Yeah, Sandy Sands of <laughs> Miramar. <laughs> yes. And guys, remember to follow and like and share, especially liking and sharing the stream to the entire world, to all the esports groups that you have. Uh, let them know that there are your countries that is playing tonight. So we would love that kind of support from the entire world because, again, we are just one community that is the PUBGM community. Right. right. And I love the way you uh, you promoted, or I mean, not really promoted, but you mentioned regarding the, the typhoon who... Uh, who just uh, went here in the Philippines or just around here in, in Southeast Asia and there were a bunch of people who uh, got devastated so if you can try to you know send stars to, to streamers because they actually uh, help out they do have some uh, charity or donation drive that they're doing and yes. it's, it's kind of good to hear from you sis Jenny that you're you're promoting that <laughs> yeah. as well yeah, because it's the only rational way that we can support one another because right now during the pandemic, um, even countries who want to send supply over to uh, affected regions, like for example, Philippines, it's not possible because, uh, you know, the airport is all closed and even if the things come in, uh, they need to have some, um, like for example, if Singapore wants to send over to Philippines, uh, we have to get those guys quarantined first. So the only way for us to help is through stars, through money. And since we are in the gaming community, there is stars and they are raising funds so instead of giving uh, stars to your favorite players at this moment we can just do it for these affected regions right and now we are flying in the biggest map of PUBG mobile coming from the oasis mm -hmm. area going straight to puerto paraiso and i, I, I was i was uh, i was talking about puerto paraiso uh with the local tournament that we have here i called it puerto paradise <laughs> Actually, I like the way you say it. Puerto Paraiso. Wow, it sounds so Spanish. <laughs> yeah, like Hacienda del Patron. <laughs> oh yes, man. I know it sounded like Narcos. You know this that move that that show from Netflix. Yes. So nice. <laughs> yeah, but by the way, do you know that Cuckoo? This is my favorite map. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is the Philippines' favorite map as well. Yes. Like, oh. Okay. Like they say, they say this is the hometown of the Philippines, <laughs> Miramar. <laughs> And there's really? uh, there's so many people dropping uh, to Picado and classic matches and all this stuff. But look at our teams right now. Uh, Team TDXH2E going to Torre Ahumada way north. AOJ as well going to La Cabriera. We have Cruz del Valle for Onyx Esports. R4MG, they got uh, water t uh, treatment. And then look at they. It looks like Team X-Force is together with them. Mm, flying together, gliding together. Will they die together? We're not sure about that. <laughs> it's like uh, the family that prays together stays together. <laughs> but you know, I get very pressured if uh, a team were to chase you with the parachute. It's like, you know that I'm here. Why are you coming here? Yeah, some teams are just like that because they know they are better. So they just want to get that kind of intense vibe going on. Right, and Ooh. it's oh, interesting that... Uh, Someone got Suicide. killed already from Orange Esports in Los Leones. Yeah, it's from Suicide Squad. And Uno is the the nearest one to this guy, which is Fluck. 
Yeah, I think that's a sacrifice from um one of the players in orange. But I, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, Sky Nin is down. It's back to the in in the lobby already. In fact. Yeah, back to the lobby indeed. And uh, Uno, oh, there we go. Another oh. one getting taken down, and looks like they're actually on a on a death race right now here. Ay ay ay! Look at that. They is also having a party on their own. Wiping out DVT. Are you seeing that in the kill feed? <laughs> yeah, and uh, Tony holding that win 94 like a boss. <laughs> and he's firing together with the Murado. And look at their Murado. It actually flipped over. <laughs> oh dear. What happened to you, Day? <laughs> oh no. But think, Day, guys. Uh, yeah, I think we have to, to switch over here again to Los Leones. Because this is where the fun it. is happening. Oh, it looks like Suicide Squad is only three players. Yeah, it's three players. One of the players got eliminated earlier on by... Um... Oh, you mean... Okay, sorry, sorry. Suicide Squad, right? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Suicide Squad. I mean, just only three players. So one of their players wasn't able to get inside the lobby. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I hope it's because of uh, punctuality. But if it's, be if it's because he got kicked, he didn't download the map, it's really a waste for that. Yeah, I didn't notice that as well. Since I was in the uh, in the room, we were busy talking, you know. <laughs> yeah, and but, uh, look at that. Um, the zone, uh, cuckoo. Yeah, zone is the going circle. to the west side, and mm. like uh, one fourth of the area is actually a place that you cannot really go to. Yeah, I know. I tried to land there, and I died. Like <laughs> really? So yeah, because it's like not a place for you to render at all. Also, oh, it's not really possible. I haven't really tried that. Right, because I saw one of the bots running, so I wanted to follow the bot. Apparently, it was a glitch, so there wasn't supposed to be any bots on that mountain. So mm -hmm. I tried to land in, and I died upon landing. It's kind of <laughs> like uh, when I played Livic. There, there yeah. is a, a bot like on the very edge of the. It's actually not even oh, yeah. seen. In, it's seen in the yeah. map anymore. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and yes, I tried to kill. <laughs> I tried to kill, but it's not going through the bullet. It's not mm -hmm. going through. There's like an invisible wall. Yeah, and, and the bot is so annoying running back and forth like as if I'm here, don't you want me? <laughs> but you just can't get him. Right. It's kind of like irritating you that uh, you can get like a free kill, but you cannot. <laughs> you cannot, yeah. And you're making a whole lot of noise and somebody comes at the back and third party and you're dead. Yes. <laughs> mm. But uh, you know what? There's three teams actually in Los Leones. We have DS Esports together with orange and uh suicide squad so again this 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 town is a really big town it can accommodate at least four squads yes and i was told that by you that it definitely can accommodate to four uh, different squads and in fact this is the place that i would choose if i were to land in mirama yeah i'm doing that uh when i do classic when i do rank mode <laughs> because uh, if you go picado you can get killed it's early yeah, I know it's crazy. It's either in Picado or um, in Chumachera. Yeah, Chumachera as well. <laughs> so many people yeah. drop drop at Chumachera. Yeah. Like the, these Vietnamese. <laughs> but apparently, interestingly, uh, Tokyo Striker, actually, this is the port for them. I've been seeing Mirama and they always choose Chumachera as their drop zone for Tokyo Striker. And, and look where Day is. Day is in the middle of that circle. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, actually, are they gonna do that again? Like, you know, that mountain? But I don't think it's part of the zone right today. Uh, it no. can be. Uh, it's kind of like where uh, this guy is. Jeffy is from DVT. At this area. Uh, on, the, on the right side. It's kind of yeah. rendering right now. Uh, mm -hmm. It can still be a, a position mountain. or a part mm -hmm. of the circle. Depending on where the circle will go, but the uh, the zone is now closing in 30 seconds, and uh, this is where you have to be careful. Like you're in the open right now, you don't know mm -hmm. if there's any people around this area. So I think uh, like like yesterday, I watched a Miramar map where Blacklist Claire just went to the open, and he actually got shot by by Team X Force. And look at Jeffius right now. <laughs> the Murado flipped over as well, like what they did. What happened? 
I don't know. <laughs> they they don't have driving the driver's license. That's why, <laughs> that's why they don't know how to drive. <laughs> Sometimes I get annoyed when that happens to me in Mirama because uh, it's like. I, I did not speed. It's just a little bit of that la, uh, a hum, and suddenly my 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 vehicle went crazy. So I, I really don't know why sometimes it is like that. Is it a Tencent thing or I have no idea. It's like it's it's probably the terrain. Yeah, probably the or, terrain. Uh, what my clan or I would tell my clan is that hey quicksand, you know quicksand. It's like there's yeah. nothing there, but you pass by and then like the thing go crazy like boo 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 boo, and then like <laughs> then your your vehicle goes nuts and like okay fine whatever that is. Right. And uh, you know what? Team SIG, I'm looking at them right now. This team currently at second place. Really, it's it's they're actually quietly moving closer to the Team Day. And they can do that. They can also eliminate Team Day as well so that they can get the top place. That's uh, that's how dangerous Team SIG is. They are really quiet. They don't You don't really see them much in the kill feed. But they are currently on top number two. Um, they are usually the ones there to do that uh, initial engagement and then they will not get the clear off. They will get just one or two kills. By the way, Kuku, you should take a look at Limited Rampage now and uh, Tokyo Striker. It's over in Ladiria. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Yeah, but uh, there's also some engagement here with uh, Anjar and Blacklist and Tyra will get taken down on top of that hill and ooh, you will get taken out already. But Aeons with the uh, Car 98 headshotting flush. Nice. But but they are currently away from them, so they cannot really go for the push and uh, try to eliminate their guys. Nice. But oh, we have AOJ and uh, TDX on the kill feed now. But uh, I, I will go. Probably... I will go to limited rampage. Yeah, they, it's just one of them that actually came by, but now the entire Tokyo Striker is there. Yeah, this is gonna be a scary team. Tokyo Striker pushing you. If if I were if I were there, uh, Aaron, I'll just grenade myself. <laughs> but then, but then again, limited rampage is quite strong from Malaysia. I realize, you know, um, uh, they I think are a bit better than ESDK when it comes to a uh, close confrontation. So this might be an interesting fight for uh, Tokyo Striker and limited rampage, really. Right. Oh, and Aeons will get needed by Jabrinki on kill feed. Nate wow. coming in as well from Zizak, but. Not getting anyone. Mr. Emoji is here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say he's, that name. Yeah, but his emoji looks weird. Oh, spray, spray, spray going on there uh, by Mr. Emoji to Sayuri. Oh, but look at Power Pound getting Aeons. Ay, ay, ay. What's happening to Blacklist? Yeah, only ay. two players left for Blacklist International. But Claire and Alas trying ay. to survive for their team. Mm -hmm. Looks like Flix. We'll go for the smoke here. Again, one of their players got knocked, which is Faris. They will... Oh! So, oh, the fire! The fire is burning the house! We need... We need a fireman here! <laughs> yes, and true enough, they oh, are that wow. wow! Wow! Look at that clear off, man! Well done, Tokyo Striker! It's like as if they know what they're doing! Right, and now let's try to switch back here to Blacklist like and Anjar Esports. Mm -hmm. Power Punk is still knocked down. No one is trying to to provide help to him here. Alas, and uh, Miliano is trying to uh, to fight each other off. I'm kind of stuck inside the rock here. <laughs> no, let's uh let's get out of that. But uh, looks like uh, the other half of oh, what a grenade coming from Alas! Yeah, nice from Alas. And looks like Alas will be able to to wipe them out here. Flush and Chupranky is kind of stuck at that uh, other side. And it's going to be a 2v2 situation all of a sudden for Blacklist and ANJR Esports. But Keller has to come down to give that backup fire in case uh, LS... Ay, 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 another... Ooh! Right in front, one... 2v1 right now, ooh! Ah, such low HP, there you go! And Keller needs to get that! He needs to be able to get that, ay, ay, ay! But uh, Claire oh. is not able to actually see a part of... Uh, the, the Anjar Esports ah. players because of that small shack. Now it's only mm. one player left. Now we'll try to throw a smoke. Try to bait them out. But the uh, so will be a uh, revive. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, right now, uh, Claire will have to 2v1 situation and uh, it's not gonna... I, I hope uh, Claire is able to clutch this. 
I oh no, that tired. was that was just a nice effort there for a blacklist uh, player uh, to try to save his team, but uh, Anjar Esports not able or able to actually uh, secure their spot here, just right on top of Picado. Uh, Miliano, they have a chance to kill him, but they didn't. Yes, um, it's kind of sad actually. I mean, it could have been a different gameplay if Claire were to come in quite earlier uh, because it was a easier battle. But then um, this is again PUBG. It also depends on luck and the timing. So, well, yep. Yeah, and uh, again, these are the top 18 teams that we have here for Game Link Coronation. This is the cream of the crop, in other words. So, again, yes. uh, this is Jenny. You, you cannot just be, uh, you know, standing around trying to fool, uh, make a fool out of yourself here. You have to really focus and you have to make sure that you get those kills as well. Uh, yes. Instead of, like, let him, letting them, uh, you know, get the revive if you get eliminated. Because if, you if say, for example, you get eliminated and then you weren't able to kill that, I mean, you had that chance to get one point, right? Yes, you're right there. Um... Oh, okay. Uh, there is a fight here from APG and AOJ. Interesting. Yeah, and Anchor PUBG currently country. at the bottom part of the the scoreboard. Uh, they yeah. would love to try to to get this one done here, but ooh, looks like Y2P nice. able to go from the behind, and they're just mad at the the loot crate. Yes, most definitely. But I would say right now, APG needs to be careful of their movements. They are in the open and there is X-Force on the other side waiting for them to lurk out and definitely will do a tap or a spray onto each other's heads if they were to spot that. Right, and uh, these are two Cambodians fighting each other. Cambodian pride right now. Uh, yes. I, would like, I would like to see all the Cambodians spamming those chats here while we're at it. But, ooh, there you go. We see some, uh, some type of engagement here right at this area. For DVT, and there's only oh. one player left, Fluent, trying to cook up a nade, making sure that he can get one here before he actually gets killed. But nope, he will get pushed now by the Pakistanis. Uh. It's gonna be hard now. There you go. One goes down. Ay, ay, ay. And Jeff, yes, that's the end of DBT. But I would really like to comment about uh, this Pakistani team. You know, they are quite feisty when it comes to fighting. They really get it done. And they are usually in a pack. They are hardly, uh, you know, like far apart from each other. When they fight, they are always uh, in a pack. And it's really one of their uh, skills, I would say, for this team. It's like their firepower is really good when they are together. Yeah, it's kind of like of their uh, strength. In other yep. words, uh, Sis Jenny, and you know what? Uh, that can actually be used as well by these other teams, but again, they have a different type of game plan. But looks like looks like uh, ESDK trying to spray away here at Anchor PUBG, and uh, this uh, pickup truck got hit there for a little bit, but they got their positions in. We are still on our second phase, just mm -hmm. over 15 minutes. In our time here, and look at where our teams are at. Looks like uh, Diaz and SIG will, will battle it out here. Diaz and SIG. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, yes, they are very close by uh, to one another on the top reach of uh, the hills and the compound area. So I would say the vantage point would be Diaz if they are able to spot SIG. Oh no, Real K did not get to spot that quite early. He gets it. Um, in fact, he was spotted earlier and being knocked out on the rooftop right now. Yeah, and, and he um, was he was like chilling like a villain <laughs> on top of that roof, and he didn't know that there was someone down below. And Team mm -hmm. SIG, they have a uh, a bit of a chance here to get this push up and running but looks like uh, TL team legacy right now mm -hmm. is from afar fighting from afar mm, where, where again are they? yep they are on the other side but they are seeing other teams from their other angles who are fighting and they are just stepping that down that's why i say um i kind of uh, said that uh, team legacy and uh, they have something similar because they they have this third party ability and they are able to get the knockout or the kills Right, and uh, Pika just uh, going for that uh, tap, 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 that uh, pot tap, shot, tap. In, mm -hmm. uh, in my words. But uh, uh, looks like uh, he's not going to be able to do, like, kill some of these players from DS Esports because that is just way too far from where they are right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, R4MG getting uh, Ayn. Oh, let's see. 
Yeah, uh, that's, that's a neophyte. Yep. Close that's combat Jabrinky. here. That's Jabrinky. Jabrinky getting uh, taken down here. But uh, this is a, a snipe battle, actually. It's just Jenny. Between uh, Reborn for My Goddess and Anjar Esports. Yes, and... Um... There is this player from R4MG that I kind of see how he played. He kind of killed players like how he killed bots. It's so fast and this player is called Anetex. And he did that in one of the semi-global finals in uh, Mirama. So is he able to do that again? I was hoping that he would show that skill set of him uh, for uh, the Mirama matches when we are at it. But so far, uh, R4MG haven't been too lucky lately. Uh, it's usually they are caught in the middle. or Right now, that player is caught on the other side. So he got to make that run. And hopefully, um, Ayn would not do a spray or a tap for him. Right, and now we switch over here to Onyx Esports. Uh, they're currently nearby team number 14, which is uh, Suicide Squad. Again, Suicide Squad is currently not having a good tournament here in the finals. Uh, Jeff's, if you uh, actually remember Jeff's from uh, uh, from Face Clan. Ah, yes, yes, yes. He's now with uh, team 3, which is uh, Team Onyx Esports. And there you go. We have Tony Ooh. able to snipe a wave. Like, look at the distance of Tunny. Just so far, and he was able to get the knockdown. That was really good sniping skills. Yeah, Tunny, one of the good snipers for all players, I would say. And yes, DK getting APG. And uh, wow, everybody's starting to kill one another because the circle just shifted, uh, Cuckoo. And it's going towards, again, the mountain of Regis part of Mirama. Yeah, and C Sky only. It's going to be all alone here. He's going to be pushed, and there we go. With a micro Uzi. JS double W will knock him out. Yes, I definitely went to the other team's advantage. But uh, right now, I'm just looking at teams who are spraying away. We have Suicide Squad who is spraying over to Day Tunny, guys. Day is always getting that vantage, that vantage point from the top, and they are usually good in that. So, this might be a similar gameplay as how we saw Mirama yesterday for Day. Right, and look at the circle now. They are in position, but look at Jeff's as well. Jeff's here from uh, Team Onyx Esports on a buggy. His buggy's now off of, up on uh, flames, but he's going to be able to get this pickup truck and will try to survive until the very end of the game. Uh, team, uh, team, team Legacy, still in the outside, outside the part of the area or the zone. They have to get inside, but look at how many teams already are gatekeeping the south side of the circle. Yeah, so it will be a bit difficult for these teams to come in and uh, oh, Jeff has already alighted and kind of going by foot. It's actually quite risky for Jeff. Yeah, it's gonna be a risky play there coming from Jeff's. But oh, looks like looks like Scry was able to scare off one of the players of uh, Orange Esports. He, he went away from the, his position over there in the south area. Oh, interesting. They're gonna they're gonna try to get that position, but ooh, looks like uh, Mass Mello was able to get one down, but he's gonna be taken out here by Dread. Yep, again, uh, TDX, they are usually strong as a team. So you can see the accuracy of how these teammates are very close to one another when they are fighting, and usually that is how they get uh... Oh, there you go, another spray. Oh, yep. what a Wipe play out. there from Jacob. Yep. This this guy Jacob, I always see him fragging out. Like, he's yes. always pushing, he's always so aggressive. And this is where we saw TDX H2E going for a different uh, game plan. Look at how M6 was far away from the two players of TDX H2E. He was the cover onto the other angle, and two were pushing. Yep, definitely. But uh, that's really... Ooh, R4MG getting Ayn Hejar. Uh oh let's see how close they are. Oh, R4MG is quite far away, in fact. Right. They were uh, just sniping at Team Anjar Esports, and Anjar always getting knock in the kill feed. <laughs> if you noticed, this Indonesian squad has been with the uh, Blacklist early on, now with uh, Team R R4MG. 
spray 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 there to the vehicles but uh, nothing is done maybe a little bit of damage x force is helping and r4mg is currently in the middle of nowhere this would be an advantage for ayn hejar from the back but then again indonesian teams uh, i would say their capabilities or they are more expert when it comes to close combat they are able to do that clear off when it comes to long range it might be a disadvantage for them yes and uh, again this is good this might be a third party coming from uh Anjar Esports here because uh, Team R4MG is open onto their left side. Uh, mm -hmm. Team X Force though is gonna go for that uh, gatekeep, but again they're they're still not yet inside a circle. I mean they, they have time here uh, with one minute and ten seconds left on the clock. They can still have they can still go for the move uh, going through inside that uh, that zone. But on the kill feed we have uh, Team Legacy. It was Pika able to actually get one down for Team Eleven. Uh, from the Mongolian and uh, look at them uh, trying to still get into the top uh, five because Team Legacy is also one of the consistent teams that has always been getting top five or at least uh, top eight of uh, of the of all the matches that they play. So we're definitely going to see a fight from Team Legacy. Just not now. They will come in after this. Right, and uh, look at the team Orange Esports is barely able to get inside the circle as well. Die Hard trying to fire away. Who knows? Going for that third party action. This is where you would see a lot of third party action. Fourth yeah, and fifth phase. Mm -hmm. And Hypes just got knocked down there by Tokyo Striker. Oh, I am getting R for MG. That was kind of given. We kind of knew that would happen because it was an advantage for Ayn Hejar on that angle. Yeah, and I'm going to switch over to that uh, battle here. Again, uh, Team R for MG, X Force, and Ayn Jar. Looks like Ayn Jar already had pushed to the circle mm -hmm. and they, they don't really want to waste their uh, utilities and ammo uh, for mm -hmm. team r4mg looks like uh, we're gonna see a bunch of people here down on south and scry will get exploded over there jeff's still alive look at jeff mm -hmm. jeff yep he's still fighting it out with ddx he on the head goes down jeff by jacob again the the, the jacob that uh you say is always the one in front Right, Jacob. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> and yep, he has proof a point. And uh, look at that now. Diaz uh, trying to battle it out with Day. Is and it going to be possible? Oh, look, but look at SIG. <laughs> look at SIG right now. They're going to try to push to where Orange Esports is at. Oh, oh! Explosion! Explosion! Ay, ay, boom, ay, boom, ay, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, hey. Kuku, look at the circle and look at which team is in the circle again! It's like they bought the the whole tournament <laughs> card that we have. <laughs> yes, they really are. They are so good with the accuracy and where the circle. And I, I really respect these players, guys. My god. And uh, let's just look at all the battles right now. Ooh, TDX. Managed and, to and, and look at where Ezo is currently at. He's far away from his teammates. Not sure what what type of gameplay is doing right now. I'm not sure. I I don't think it's scouting because definitely you don't need to scout right now when the circle is already so small. Uh, but probably he will try and do a oh oh nice nice nice. He kind of sneak and pick and and shoot. Ah, but not too lucky for Esso. Uh, getting shots by ESDK from the other side. And Sun Sun is currently knocked down as well. Team Tokyo Striker already had pushed. Let's try to look on his teammates now. Oh, there we go. Uno gets taken down. Only one player left. That's pop up. And there we go. Orange oh. Esports is out. Yep. He need a straight away from Tokyo Striker. But now Tokyo Striker has it needs to get into the zone. So they gotta uh, kind of like wipe down clan uh, teams after teams. But is that even possible for Tokyo Striker? But look at the north side. We have X Force now pushing towards Team Day, but. Look at how hard Krim is trying to get to the top. I think he cannot get through this. Krim, right? Yeah, Krim. Yeah. Can he? Can he try to get up there? It's hard to say. I think no. Yeah, I He's think He's trying knows. to jump. Yeah, I yeah, think no as well. Good. And uh, I think Mia knows there's people around and Camper X will be the first guy, first victim for Mia. And now blue 
I think I think Mia knows as well where he is, and now I'm gonna throw a nade, Kobe, for you guys. Ooh, but, oh, but, but no fence. damage. Yeah, the fence will actually try to cover him. Another nade. Second time is charm. Oh, he Ooh, actually nice got some damage. Nina. Nice. Nice. But again, he's stuck. He is currently stuck right now. He doesn't have any choice uh, right now but to use all of the smoke. Mia knows where he is now, and he's gonna be fired. Good thing, good thing Mia actually reloaded. He, yes, he, he and reloaded and wasn't able to actually get the shot. Yes, uh, but the zone is also painful for Blue. He might be in trouble also for Devin and Cream because uh, you see Day is really standing their fort, not letting them in. Oh, and that's a nade coming from Tunny, eliminating the last member of Team Legacy. I saw that nade in the spectate, and now Nuzi. This this guy Nuzi. From the name itself. Very <laughs> like nosy. Very nosy, yeah. Very nosy. <laughs> but in a good way. Because he gets the kills also. And look at that. Uh they are uh, getting DRs. I'm telling you guys. They are doing this gameplay yet again for Mirama. Being that third party sharp killers and getting X Force also. Wow, wow, wow. Look at you, Flex. Yeah, he's just flexing here, Nuzi. We'll now throw a need, try to finish off the Vaughn, and probably he's trying to make sure that there's nobody else on that uh, rock. And he doesn't know that Krim is just hiding. Krim's just hiding. He's hiding, and definitely. And um, <laughs> I'm just amazed on how uh, lucky um was. Hi, sorry, I'm looking at the us and Tokyo Striker right now. They might not survive, and yes, the us being wiped out by Tokyo Striker. Uh oh. Mm -mm. Mm, that's a bad, Tokyo bad, us. a bad uh, experience there for for Team DS. Not will not be able to actually get a good position in this map. They really needed that uh, that good positioning. But look at look at ESDK right now. Two players left. Uh, Frankie is gonna try to get inside, but he might get shot by by the team day from above. Oh, there you go, explosion of it that vehicle. That was so quick. Super precise shots there, and right now, oh, even Tokyo Striker, two of the players being sacrificed, and they again. Oh, oh what a grenade! Oh, nice one, straight onto them, and <laughs> Ben, it, well done. Ben actually killed himself as well. Oh yeah, it was quite a close and it killed him, but he got the kill. But again, right now, Kuku, look who is on top. Uh, that is Day again with the advantage point. And I think this is their expertise, guys. This might be their chicken dinner again for Mirama. And did you know that Day is, is uh, a former team called Golden Cat? Did you know that? Yes, yes, yes. I was told by uh, our management. <laughs> yeah, so that's why they're good. Golden Cat uh, Esports is a good team, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, I think partially uh, from a day trade, right? Yeah, partially from day trade as well, yep. Mm, so, yep, that's that's the players. And if you remember how they perform, uh, they were really good. So, that's only normal for them to perform. Oh. And Ozzy getting Ayn Emil Yano at the bottom. On the side, he has two Branky at the bottom here. And he's doing the spray right now, uh, getting to Branky like, as if he knows he has been there. And only one player left here for uh, Team Anjar Esports from Indonesia. Uh, able to actually revive though, it's Miliano. But he's, they're going to be pushed. They're going to be pushed here. Oh, Tony will get taken down, but he's going to be taken out by Nuzi. And now Miliano will try to go for the push, but it's not going to be enough. It's just way too much. Way too much for Miliano. Um, this is going oh, he actually gets one! There's two more players here. Oh, there's on. pistol! There's the pistol! Hi. You hear the pistol coming from near! Probably near doesn't have any more ammo, but now only uh Krim. Krim is still alive! Krim can actually get the nade in! And he is on top of the safe zone, so uh oh, this might be a disadvantage for day! And oh and there you go! Being eliminated. No, <gasps> this is a 1v1 situation at the bottom and the top. I am not sure it might be a game changer for this again. They might not get this chicken dinner, but it really depends on cream and how is he going to put the cream on top of the pie or is he going to be the cream in the pie? Oh, 
Oh, there we go. He actually went down. Go for it. The drop shot. But Grim will be able to clutch it. The 4v1 situation. Since very nice. Jenny. Very, very nice. Ay, yeah. ay, ay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and yes, he has proved a point that he will be the cream on the pie and not in the pie. So well done to you, cream, for getting those shots done uh, straight into day. But then again, guys, uh, we are going to see the real results. Who actually got the most kills for that round? <laughs> but again, look, look at look at the day, the day team from Thailand. They got tw uh, 13 okay. kills. Yeah. <laughs> This is gonna be a lot, and they they still might get number one for this map because uh, yeah. Team X Force only has five kills in mm -hmm. their bag. And uh, again, the patience of Krim. Krim, an experienced player from Team X Force who played already in the PMCO uh, Spring Split in 2019, just showed just showed us how really good he is with that patience, yeah. able to eliminate. I think three or f maybe two players out of day. They just really don't have the. They didn't have the the circle. They were in the blue zone. They basically yes. they basically pushed towards uh, Anjar Esports, which is unnecessary, right? Yeah, probably they thought Ayn Hajar was the last uh, squad, but then when they realized they have eliminated Ayn and they did not get the chicken dinner, that's when uh, the trouble came in for them. They realized there's another player from another team, probably. Right, and uh, Suicide Squad, actually, I, I just got word from our League Ops that Suicide Squad only has three players tonight. So that's going to be Ooh, a big, disadvantage. big disadvantage. Again, mm -hmm. a four-man squad is way different than a three-man squad, right? Yeah, but then again, I think I would leave you, Cuckoo, because I will be playing for Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, uh, I'll show you the rest of the the teams who played for this round so that you can see how they did well here or not. <laughs> but Kuku, check out Tokyo Strikers' kills. I think they will be the next contender for day for this round. Like uh, The total, it's quite a lot actually for Tokyo Striker. Yeah, they have uh, 12 kills just right behind uh, Team Day of uh, mm -hmm. Thailand. So two Thai teams just dominating yep. this, uh, this Miramar map. And guys... Uh, <laughs> Before we head on to our next map again, uh, we might uh, go ahead and see the live results already. But again, uh, sis Jenny, uh, again you said that uh, Team Day really good with that prediction on where the circle oh. is going. It's, it's sometimes I say they bought the circle, <laughs> like what I said. It's really, they, yeah, it's mind it's mind boggling because it has been like. Uh, there's yesterday it was five matches. Now it's already our seven match. So out of the seven matches, it's like they got four, no, five out of seven correct gauge And how the heck did they do that? And it's not just one player; it's the entire squad in a circle, guys. Like, wh what? <laughs> I, it I it, is, it is just uh, it is just total total map control being done by Team Day. And again, it looks like the scoreboard will still rack up for team day uh however for the top two which is sig and team legacy i think they will go down with their rank uh probably just a little bit because the winner of this game is team x force is currently down uh below uh top 10 they might go up team x force they might go up around probably six or seven so they have a chance there to get into the top five says jenny right Yes, definitely they will because they they, they have been trying to perform from Irangel just now and then uh, for Mirama, definitely a different kind of gameplay than yesterday because like I said yesterday, X-Force were not being themselves. They were quite quiet, you know, getting a little bit too soon uh, and uh, just one or two kills. But now I realize that certain teams have changed the way they play and probably yesterday's team, some of them that were performing uh, are no longer performing uh, for our first two matches right now. In fact, uh, DVT is one of them that is a bit on the underperforming today, probably because the team have changed the strategy and um, it is working around those teams that actually has a strategy to kill. But since they can't perform, they have to rethink of the strategies that they need to play for these three other more matches because after that, then we're already going to award the victorious team in top five. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, I was actually thinking about DVT. Uh, they were the, the the champions of uh, Ace of Asia season three. They were known as Active Hydra, 
Active X Hydra, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And now they're right. they're called DVT Thailand. So I think the the change of names maybe had had an effect on them. I mean, sometimes sometimes it does, right? That means it's Jenny. Like if you change your name, you're not really used to it. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and at the same time, they might have a a different type of lineup, right? So again. Uh, we might see them going into the top five, but look at the scores already. I think the scores are already done. We will go ahead and take a look at the live results after seven matches. And there you go. Three Thai teams in the top three. Looks like we're going to have uh, a, Thai, wow. a Thai party right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big change, you know, because before this, it was Myanmar's domination. And now, guys... Now, it's going to be a Thai domination yet again. Is it going to be a similar Ace of Asia effect? Because most of the, our Ace of Asia is being won by the Thai region. So, is this going to be it? Or will um, Myanmar or at least Legacy will come in to take over that top three position? But but in the, in the previous major tournament that we just uh, had this year, uh, Airwolf Limax from Indonesia. Uh, oh, we're the yes. we're the champions, not from Thailand. Again, still, um, it might be a guarantee already, in my opinion. It might be a guarantee already that Team Day will get the top number one spot, winning yeah. that two thousand Singaporean dollars. But it is still open for the top two, three, four, and five. Look at how close the scores are at, are are here, says Jenny. Yes, I would definitely say so because it is still okay. It is still open for even Malaysia team to get into the top uh three. It's also for legacy. It's also for AOJ because it's very close. It's like fifty and sixty. It's not so far. They can catch up unless you're talking about twenty or thirty. Then they need to keep winning chicken dinners like after this. But it's I know that's not going to be easy for that. But but I'm not gonna take away or take out the teams coming from uh top fourteen and below because. I mean, except for Orange Esports, I think Orange Esports will will really be at that 18th spot. I mean, unfortunately uh, for the fans of for the fans of Orange Esports, I know there's mm -hmm. there's a lot of fans for Orange there's Esports. Uh, mm -hmm. They're not really playing as what we have expected, but uh, for the top, um, I would say top 14 and below. So for Onyx Esports, Blacklist, uh, Suicide Squad, A, we have Anchor PUBG. They still have a chance to at least get into that top five four three and two and get a piece of that lion's share of five thousand singaporean dollars price pool right yeah, still have if they work hard enough in order to uh, they just gotta re-strategize and change the gameplay maybe for them because most of the teams that has been dominating they are usually getting kills instead of surviving points if you realize that right so again for all those teams who are down in the bottom spot you need kills you need a better placement uh -huh. But for the meantime, we're going to be right back here uh, in the map of Vikendi for match number eight. My name is Kufu TV. I have your sis, Jenny. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Game Link's PUBG Mobile Coronation Season 2, and we will be right back.
And we are back, guys, here for our match number eight. This is going to be in a candy match. This is PUBG Mobile Coronation Season 2 of Gameling. My name is Kuku TV. I have here Sis Jenny, who just finished eating up her crackers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm eating this small cracker. So hungry, guys. Yeah, there we go. Sponsor her. What's the brand of that? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe, maybe they can sponsor you, like a uh, gamer sponsor for the crackers. Like uh, it's wow. it's the gaming yeah. crackers. <laughs> yeah, you know you know how um Blackpink gets those cracker sponsor. I don't know how does that relate to a pop star that sings Blackpink in the area, but they have that potato chips and doors <laughs> by Blackpink. So it's like when you eat, you're gonna go boom boom boom. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So when people eat my crackers, they will be like, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that can be a, a good commercial, you know. Thanks, <laughs> guys. We are about to start here. We're now loading up to the to the spawn island. Guys, this is match number eight. The candy is the name of the map. We might see Team X-Force going into that top five because they're now at seventh place. And for all the fans out there for Team X Force, all of the Cambodian fans, please don't forget to like, follow, and share. And not only you guys, but again for other uh, fans as well. Especially for for Mongolian fans, I saw I see a lot of Mongolian yeah. fans out there, and also the Philippines. Also, a lot of fans. I don't really see much of the Thai community on the live comments though, but they are actually winning, right? Um, they are. I mean, they, they come in. Um, I realize that when they comment, it's not in a bunch. It's like separated. So, yeah. They're kind of like, uh, what do you call this? Laid back, you know? Yeah. Independent commenters. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually see, I, I see someone from YouTube uh, commenting. It's actually Zooms. Really? Yeah. Hello, Zooms. <laughs> he, said, he says here, Zooms, like... Uh, the, there's so many S at the end. Like <laughs> zooms. So mm. <laughs> or is it zoo zoo zoo? Zoo zoo zoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is his channel. So that is Zoom, uh, Zoom's YouTube channel. So might as well subscribe to his channel. <laughs> yes. And of course, those of you who are watching, remember to follow, like, and share Gameling or Kuku TV or even Sis Jenny and those of you who are from YouTube remember to subscribe to see all the future tournaments for your own learning yes and <laughs> <laughs> yeah right and it's not only PUBG Mobile guys there's also Call of Duty Mobile there there is Clash Royale there is Valorant uh, I'm not sure what other games were oh no it's actually PUBG PC as well I forgot about PUBG PC PUBG PC too so we have all the different kind of crowds and different kind of vibe in gambling tournaments. So you might want to watch us out in 2021 because we are going to come in with a storm. Right, Cuckoo? We got right. something cooking up for you guys. <laughs> yeah. If you smell what the Cuckoo is cooking. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Some hot dogs, maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, into the game. <laughs> yeah, the, the extremity. Extra delicious, extra meaty. No, it's it's a different. <laughs> that's uh that's my sponsor. But anyways, we have here the flight path coming from the Bromesto up right until uh, the winery, and this is a really uh a, a really hard flight path to be honest. Yeah, I I don't like this kind of flight path when it's going only to one side of the map because it's really hard for the teams to even go to their drop zones. They will have to fight it, and even if they need to. Go into the drop zones, they have to fight for the vehicles, and that's where you see a lot of accidents happen. And, and this is the only time we're going to have uh, this weekendy map, so all of these teams has to make the most out of this map. This is a really fast map here, fast circle as well. Uh, we're going to see a bunch of... Actually, look look at, look at the teams. They're, they, they are landing at the same spots right now. Look at yes. Goroka. Goroka, there might be one from SIG with ANJR Esports. Villa? We have uh, Tokyo Striker Hello. and Team Legacy. Team Legacy. And then we have R4MG and APG down at Milnar. I, I am interested with APG and uh, and R4MG. Yeah, I think they are going to fight first. They have dropped the right smack oh. on each other. There you go. Toby goes down. That was a bad Toby. landing by Toby. Ay ay ay! Right in front, bro. That was a free kill. Yeah, that, that was a free kill. It's kind of like uh, when you're playing Classic. 
a bot mm -hmm. landed in front of you. Yeah, unfortunate for R4MG. Uh, hopefully that was a mistake uh, for the joystick. You know, sometimes you, you are not ready to play and then your, your teammates are talking and suddenly you're like, hey, hey, there's one squad. There was... And then you, you come in like, what, what, what? You know, and yeah. yep, that was just a mistake like that. He, he probably didn't know that there was someone mm. there already. Probably, yes, uh, exactly. probably APG already uh, landed first, you know, and R4MG, sometimes uh, you're, you, you get busy, you know. Sometimes you get busy with uh, whatever distraction mm -hmm. you will have in your area. Especially this is going to be an online an online game or online tournament. Not the usual offline tournament. Where yeah, you would get... see your your your, uh, your teammates sit, like right beside you. And you can just focus straight on your mobile devices. Yeah, so online you have a whole lot of distractions. Different, different kinds. And now NetX is getting tapped by Ngap, uh, Nga. Nga from APG and look at his health. He needs to have the health kit soon. Right, and uh, look at the, the guns coming from uh, Nah here. He has a part 98 on a holographic scope together with an AKM with a 6x scope. It's kind of like nice. uh, the opposite. You're, you're supposed to put the 6x scope on a car 98, right? Yeah, but probably maybe he wants to get those direct shots in the house. Probably that's why he's he changed it. And look at Y2E. Y2E. No fear of pushing inside this house where the uh, other member of R4MG. Oh, there we go. Hey. Oh, you, you got you got too excited there. One more, one more on top. Oh, make that a worth shot, man, bro. Oi, Night X. I told you this guy's fast. Oh, but he's being spotted by the other side. Oi, and a wipe out straight away for APG and R4MG. Kind of too soon for this map. Yeah, that was a really too soon. Look at the circle. Is a circle? Oh my god. That was a really interesting circle, sis Jenny. Yeah, man. I mean, look at the amount of water that's inside this circle. It's like almost 50-50, Goku. Right, and this is kind of the usual stuff for the candy, but yep. the, the, the thing that I'm praying for is a water circle. I know, <laughs> because you're going to see a lot of them tracking water and dying one by one. Yeah, it's kind of hilarious, but uh, I hope, I hope, it, I mean, I do want to see that uh, it's good for content, but at the same time, it will be painful for the teams who are trying to get points. And because of water, they can't really do that kind of kills except for surviving and uh, fight for that small portion of land that they can use to shoot. And look at how early uh, Tokyo Striker rotated to where they are right now. They came from Villa, remember? They came from Villa, and now they're currently at on top of, the, just on top of Volnova. That's how quick uh, these type players just realizes that the circle is going way southeast. Yes, and honestly, Tokyo Strikers drop zone in Vikandi is always Villa, but I think they realized there was people gliding in Villa, so they decided to uh, just take a little bit and most importantly, prioritize the zone. And someone the on the comment section said, what is the word III means? Actually, uh, it does not mean anything. Uh, <laughs> if you watch Power Rangers during uh, 1990s, there's this... Uh, there's this robot, she will say ay 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 to oh, the Z Zordon, I, yeah. I didn't realize that. I, I mean, I was watching Lion King and Power mm -hmm. Rangers when I was a kid, but I, I didn't realize that. Yeah, her name is Alpha Alpha. So uh, she will say that when there is a catastrophe, you know, when something goes wrong. You know, Power Rangers are usually activated when there's something wrong in the world. So then she will like ay 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 ay. <laughs> so, yep. Oh, so that's that where is... it came from. Okay, that's the history. Yeah, so I'm using that if something goes wrong in PUBG. Kind of same application, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, to the to the little kids out there who wasn't weren't able to actually uh, watch Power Rangers because you're too busy playing PUBG, you know. <laughs> That's where yeah, but... I, I, I came from. Yes, Power Rangers was the in thing for us, man. That was our PUBG. Like they were fighting with all the weapons, but now. Probably Ooh. when you guys are you you guys want to watch it, you'll be like laughing like what seriously? Right. Fine, <laughs> but, but look, look at Krim right now. Krim, just hiding in Ooh. the grass right now, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. surrounded by four Thank players. You. 
Ooh, and there we go. We have our first knock for Blacklist. Fun. And this is Aeons coming from uh, Team Legacy. And, and this Team Legacy, they are really aggressive. Yes, and they came from Villa, guys. So definitely their loot is good. So, yep. Tyra getting the back of Blacklist. Always Tyra is doing that. Well done. Yeah, well done for Tyra Blacklist International. Giving good cover for his teammates. Looks like uh, Pika will not be able to survive this, but look at look at Tokyo Striker. Tokyo Striker is now killing off X Force on the kill feed. Oh, let me just uh, try and find them. Oh, Zizek getting one there just in the nick of time. Oh, they're gonna do this quite fast. Oh, and eliminates everybody. Ay -ay -ay. And I think uh, we have only one player left, Krim, again. Krim is just uh, their captain, not able to actually uh, command his, uh, his other teammates well here. Might be that, uh, again, they're just having a hard time here because they're not really in a compound, a really good compound, where they can actually stay at. Uh, it was now occupied by Team Tokyo Striker. Mm-hmm. But uh, at the side, if you realize, the SDK is actually listening to this fight and they are just getting information. And if they are, um, they are if they are alert enough, they might see Krim in the grass. Oh, and Aeon's getting knocked again. That's the second knockdown for Aeon's. And again, the bleeding is really quick right now for, for Aeon. Someone has to go for the revive. Yeah. Claire is the nearest one, but I'm not sure if Claire's going to go down from that peak because that's actually a good position for Claire. I think Claire is going to go down. Oh, that's a huge sacrifice for a teammate there. Actually, it's uh, yeah, it's Claire who's going to go for the revive, but he, he might get shot here by Team Legacy. L look, at, look at the distance of each player of Team Legacy, Irina. This is how, yes. this is how good they are individually. Mm -hmm. And then, and I yeah. told you, I told you that Team Legacy were the winners of the PMIL or the High mm -hmm. Esports International Tournament, and this mm -hmm. is a, a team consisting of top players from other teams. So individually, yeah. they are really good, and again, they are still in that top five. They can still win that cash money, but again, they have to secure it because lately they're not. Having a good time here in the first two match. Yeah, but even if so, if they don't get to win the $2,000, if teams get top five, I think that's good enough for them. At least it's worth their one month of sacrifice uh, for Coronation Season 2. They will bring home uh, some form of cash uh, if they get top five position. All right, and ooh, TDX. Look at TDX right now. They're being surrounded oh. by so many teams trying to go, go get there. But uh, Jacob, oh, they're, they're one of their best fraggers gets killed already. This is going to be a different style for TDX. Yeah, I'm going to try to look on the, uh, the aerial spot here as uh, Team Day. Again, Team Day. I'm trying to <laughs> prove who's the boss right now. They yeah. are the boss in this group. They are currently in number one. And Mr. Emoji, I see, I see that emoji again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't see the emoji. It makes me laugh. <laughs> kind of like uh, I think it, I think it's Mr. Bean, right? Is that Mr. Bean? I have no idea. I can't look at it. It just reminds me of something else. <laughs> Anyways, he's doing the tapping with the M two four and also um that AR gun that is only in V and getting a shot straight hit shot, bro. Mr. Nice. Emoji. M24, it's yeah. hard, you know what, it, it, it's hard to use a bolt action rifle in custom games. I mean, I mean, if you're, if you're on classic matches, yes, it, it can be hard, but it's not that easy in custom games. Yes, uh, I would definitely support that on, on your, on what you said, it's definitely hard, but I've seen one of your players are, is good with that, and he's called uh, Crowfix. <laughs> Shout outs to Crowfix if you're watching right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Crowfix from Team Demigods. Pegasus. But they, they weren't able to actually qualify in this tournament, though. 
Yeah, sadly for that. I think probably it's like there's too many good teams in Coronation. So a whole lot of teams that we kind of gauge for them to make it, they did not. So it's okay. I mean, there's always going to be new winners every day. It's a yeah. game at the end of the day. I'm going to tell Crowfix right now to watch. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, Team Orange Esports, again, like what I said, they might not be able to get top five. I mean, they can if they win. Three chicken dinners mm -hmm. in a row. Mm -hmm. But again, it's highly unlikely. Uh they are unlikely. playing for they are playing for pride basically here. Yeah. And uh Cuckoo, if you were to do, to look at the map, actually uh the zone is closing into uh towards the mainland and not really in favor of the water. And we see Team Legacy is rotating again using the outskirts of the zone. They have been doing this in Mirama, now they are doing this in Vikandi. I think they are changing their game style. Yeah, and then changing their game style like that affected them big. Because uh, look at first game and second game. They, they get killed early. Comparing to day one, oh. wherein they get all those frags and uh, really good placement points, right? Yes, uh, I would agree with that. But hopefully, with this rotation, they are able to make it into the top five positions again. Um, just they gotta catch up the kills, and I know it's not an issue for Team Legacy to get kills. It looks like uh, ES Esports able to actually see some of the players of APG Anchor PUBG Esports, and there are I think two players left standing or three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's three players left, and they are now pushing mm -hmm. at this compound, and they can they can do some type of sniping battle with ES Esports here. Look at E2. Oh, wait. Is he going to do that push uh, running into people's uh, compound? Oh, Ooh, look, look at Sun Sun. Look at Sun Sun. Now pushing Ooh. at APG. Cambodians, just a civil war right now for their country. APG and Orange Esports. Ay, ay, ay. Sun Sun is so vulnerable outside here. Doing that left and right dance. And he's going to cook that grenade. Oh, what? But why is he going to throw the grenade? Um, he gotta know where the- Ooh, Oh, a grenade came in back. Oh, oh another right one. Inside. Just nades Aye. after nades coming from Anchor PUBG. And yeah. now Sun Sun has to back out for a bit here. Now gonna be supported by Uno. Who's gonna win this one? Oh, looks like on the kill feed. Fluent. Got taken down. Mm -hmm. But again, two Whoa. teams are at it right now. I'm just looking at the, the map. <laughs> Checking if DVT is really close to SIG, but nope. They're Not really sure, far but, away. Um, yes, and this orange versus APG a grenade is still happening. You know, the raining of grenades is still ongoing. And I would say it was a giveaway for Sun Sun uh, to be in the open just now. Because I think APG realizes his position. And look at Sky Nin. It's dropping right outside of the compound. So brave and bold of that. And Ed coming in. Going to do that spray. I like the wall right now and he's actually right. gonna try to push in just using that m4 now sunshine is gonna push in as well it's gonna be simple x getting taken down nice. now team nice. apg will try to get knocked oh. down as well only I'm one clear. player left oh, oh no what a push what a push by orange esports Yes. Uh, Kenny, that was a really yes. amazing one. Amazing one, yes, definitely. And this is what I say by mind games. You know how he actually entered and he kind of uh, stopped at the entrance and just waited for them to come out. It's so hard. It's it's mind boggling. It's like, dude, you're right in front of me and you don't want to spray me. It's, it's really mind uh mind boggling for that. That is how orange uh, game style is. I was saying in the earlier uh, round of Erangel, they changed their game style and this is how they are. They will play with your mind mind tricks. Yeah, just those mind games. Kind of like, uh, yes. the, kinda like uh, in wrestling, The Undertaker. A lot of mind games. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Tell me that. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and he just uh, recently retired. <sighs> but anyways, this is not WWE. Oh. This is PUBG. This is Jenny. <laughs> yes, this is PUBG where the real chicken will be cooking. <laughs> yep, and oh, look at Telly. Look at Telly, where are you? At Blacklist, just all alone. Oh, right no. behind the wall. Oh, no. Ooh, but, oh, uh, but Pikachu mm -hmm. got his own Pokemon. <laughs> Again, um. 
Wow, that's really a crowd there. Oh, and Ayn, Hejar, one of them has not made it. Um, and look at this standoff over Tokyo Striker versus Ayn Hejar over in Volovar. Oh, Pikachu got taken down. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna gonna try to strike in for Tokyo Striker, but Ayn Hejar. Oh, ZZ from the side here doing that cat and mouse run. Oh, this one pushing in. Oh. Oh, look at Flash flashing down Zack. Gonna cut, try and kill Die Hard, guys. And we have only Sayuri left. Uh, if Ayn wins this, then I would really say this is how Indonesian team plays. They will go bar bar for that close combat. Yeah, bar bar indeed. Sayuri now, the last player left for Tokyo Strikers. Gonna try to push in. But I... oh, Flash got stuck oh, at the corner. Was... Oh, oh no. Shoot. He was so stuck. He wasn't able to move at all. And now TDX able to actually eliminate one of the players of Team Orange Esports. That was Uno, who got separated from the team, from the two other players. TDX, the Pakistanis, can they put it in the bag again like what they did in the semifinals? Yes, um, we're going to see what will happen when they comes into their compound. But bro, I still can't get over that match just now. It was really a pain to see. That it could have been Ayn's game because I'm not trying to take sides, but you guys saw how Ayn was flexing. They, he was just getting one shot after another, and because of the stuck. Yeah, he got Why? stuck in that uh, broken bathroom, <laughs> right? So, so probably there was a, a soap that was uh, <laughs> on the ground. He got stuck with the soap, and he wasn't able to actually fire his gun. Unfortunately for Anjari Sports from the Indonesia. Uh, country, yeah. but mm, let's look at uh, the team of uh, Mr. Emoji again. I like I like looking at Mr. Emoji. Uh, look at that emoji. <laughs> no, I don't like looking at his emoji. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> but anyways, let's uh, try to uh, try to look at SIG. SIG still uh, in the top uh, five. They are uh, mm -hmm. on a good spot here on getting uh, some winnings. Uh, for their team but they have to secure this uh their position so they have to make sure that they don't they don't get uh, get killed uh early so they have to at least maybe be on top five consistently here right mm -hmm. and by the way cuckoo if you were to uh, change your camera into back into cream for x-force you know how long he has been there he, he probably already got his own crackers <laughs> and try to eat up and you know Try to do some mukbang as well, you know. <laughs> yeah, he has been there because he can hear the footsteps from Tokyo Striker and also ESDK. They have not moved a bit. They have been staying in that compound and knowing that there is a team there and not attacking just yet. These three teams have been there from just now. Right, and uh, Krim with uh, the patience. Showing us uh, how long his patience is. In this game, you really have to have uh, really long patience, right? Because, you know, uh, if you are in the verge of being eliminated, you don't really just push and push and push. Because if you try to do that, you get killed easily. And you mm -hmm. cannot get at least the placement that you want to be on. And uh, again, uh, most likely, Krim, his goal is to be at least on top two. And if not, like what he did in the Miramar map, get the top number one spot. Totally agree with that you have to be tactful with your movements, especially if you're the only one survivor. It's not um, it's not advisable for you to just uh, shoot and you don't have a cover because with one hit, you're going to go back to the lobby. Right, and uh, I just noticed uh, Team Day, they only got yeah. a three-man squad now. Yeah, because they got eliminated uh, earlier, right? One of the teammates. No, the only huh? three players got in. Oh, Okay, that's interesting. I wonder what happened. But still, they are really good with the circle. Look, look at where they are. Kind of like, kind of in the middle, but on the other side of the island, because there's a mm -hmm. there's a river, like cutting through, uh, going mm -hmm. to the hot springs and Volnova. But uh, again, we don't see any of the uh, the engagement as of yet. Uh, we might want to try to see uh, God's Jeff again. Jeff's a player from Face Clan. F Face Clan. Has won a lot here on Gamelink. Yes, and 
a shout out to Face Clan. Uh, but since we are, we have one player here, we're gonna see how he flexes, uh, being a Face Clan Face Clan X member. Yes, right. And uh, looking at Team Legacy, like what you said, they are trying to go for that hard rotations. And look yeah. at the circle now; it is going to the hot springs. It is gonna okay, be hot. Sorry. Ay, oh, oh no. no. Oh, that was a giveaway. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. Team Legacy. Right, and one the, more player and goes Bunny down. And the hypes. We'll have to go back to the drawing board here. What's going to be the plan, bro? I think the plan is to go to the circle, try to um, play it safe, and try to win it at the very end. But look at look at the rotations now happening. It is just so getting compressed. All of these teams compressing that small circle. Cream is at the cream of the perimeter, still alive. And DS Esports, we have here Winter uh, trying to go for that uh, bridge camp. Uh, team mm -hmm. 10, TDX e, uh, e, H2E. Did not really cross right. yet. They, they mm -hmm. are trying to check it out first. If there are people guarding this, uh, this bridge. And I think they know! know. They know! It. Wow! They know! And probably, they, probably... they heard mm -hmm. the footstep, maybe? Yes, or maybe they uh, they kind of like stalked them from afar. But now, uh, that grenade uh, sound is being alerted to the Blacklist team who is right behind them. Might get that uh, uh, kill steals or knockout steals uh, to TDX. If Alice is looking here. But uh, we have SIG right now, currently engaged with Suicide Squad. Wow. One of their players, Blacklist, oh. is already knocked down. Megamind is damaged, but Blacklist will get a revive coming from Ezo Zip. Now, uh, Team uh, Legacy is just right down below them. Oh, they're coming in uh, from the south side of Kentra uh, using the rocks, guys. That's interesting. Uh, and look at that. They have to look into the uh, bottom part of the shore here. And it's vulnerable for a suicide squad because any moment... Oh, but look at They are pushing together. This might not be looking good for heights. Ay, ay, ay. He goes down. Oh, even a straight kill there. Now left with one more player for Team uh, Legacy. What will be it for Team Legacy? Will it be swimming under for Boon? And he cannot breathe anymore here in the water. He has... To get up and try to breathe the air that he needs. There we go. He actually went up for a bit there, but that's not going to be enough. You'll, you're still going to hit damage here. There we go. Down to low HP. You have to go to that other side and try to heal up. You still have one minute left to go here. And we have here our first knockdown for Deuce Esports. That is WT now engaged with the Pakistanis. Yes, but apparently Diaz... It's not getting that camping right, apparently, because TDX is able to take down WT. Right, and uh, I think this is their time to push now this bridge, because they got the, the knockdown, so th this will kind of rattle uh, Team DS Esports. And now gunshots after gunshots. They, like what we said, three members. This will, this will be crucial, but oh! He actually oh. tried to eliminate some of the players of Team Tokyo Striker, only two players left, I think, for them. But ZZ is on the advantage. He is still unhurt. You look at his uh, health. Uh, kind of okay in the shed. And oh! Sayuri! Mr. Emoji! Aye! He got the sniper eliminating Day. Nice! Mr. Emoji! And look, look at Blacklist right now. They're trying to swim towards the next island. Aeons here will be taken down. This is going to be a hard task for Claire to revive him. Yes, and Tyra is still in the water. So probably some teams are looking at the waters already. Uh, learning that is a team that is in the waters. Tyra is alright in the outside. Ay, ay, ay. That's an open shot for Tyra. Tyra goes down. It will be a sacrifice for Blacklist, definitely. Right, and uh, Alas here really doesn't have any choice. Let me try to go to Alas right now. He's actually uh, currently on prone. The, the, the circle or the blue zone is also moving. Uh, Team SDK is also engaged right now up against, uh, I think this is team number three right in front. Ben is not going to throw a nade inside the small house. Will it get in? Oh, Onyx. Ay, ay, ay. 
There's a lot of fight here, guys. And uh, people are just in the shed. And that is an elimination. Ooh, nice one. Uh, that was a shed kill from ESDK. And also Onyx. Uh, with Onyx. That was a, 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 a shed kill by... I can't remember which team was that. That kill also. Or, or, oh, or no. He actually bumped the, the tree. WT knocks him down. Now, there's so many squads right now that are currently engaged. I don't know where to, where to look at, actually. Yes, everybody's just fighting one another and uh, Suicide Squad. I'll just, I'll just go on top here. <laughs> I'll just go to yeah. aerial view. And apparently, Limited Rampage or Mr. Emoji's team is in the circle, Kuku. Wow. And that is going to be good for Limited Rampage, who is still fighting for that top 5. Uh, Suicide Squad, though, just uh, going for the regroup. Mega Mind got revive here just recently. AOJ and uh, DVT are just neighbors, like, for a long time now. And look at B Bar Solar now getting knocked and down. Mm -hmm. And DVT will want to do that push. Jeffy Oz and Shark trying to come up. Oh, look at Black getting shot. And uh, that's a good push. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Oh, nice there one. you go. AOJ just got eliminated by DVT, yeah. Divinity Thailand. Let's look at the map here. We have one player left for Team 13. That was the last. Now we see here Winter for DS Esports just hiding in the grass. So many teams still in the seventh phase. Nine teams. How many can you get here at this phase? Hey, look at Kareem. Uh, aye, but being spotted from the top. Oh, no. But well done, a well reaction from ESD. He kind of knocked uh, Frankie, but then uh, he was spotted by Ra, so he got killed straight away. But uh, let's uh, look so at uh, Z9 here from SIG. He's all alone right now. He's currently up against Suicide Squad. He's stuck in the bathroom. What are you gonna do, bro? He might explode that gas can. Nope. Looks like uh, looks like the blue zone will eat him alive here. I don't. I'm not sure anymore. He will do the healing game. He will do the healing yeah, game. Yeah, he will do the healing game for with only four first aids. I'm not sure he would oh, even last long. And last uh, actually getting killed by Faris from Limited Rampage. ESDK also pushing in. Frankie gets taken down. Mm -hmm. Um, is this going Oh, but Faris getting spotted from Zizek there. Knocked out already. And from behind we have here Suicide Squad now firing at Will. To ESDK, Ravians, and oh no, only one player left. All of a sudden, for the Malaysian squad, Magix will try to survive for his team. It's just so much pandemonium happening in Vikendi. Look at the circle now. Limited Rampage, one of the other teams that are, that are really good with the circle. Yes, and apparently yesterday in V Candy, uh, the teams that survived into the very last circle, it was a Malaysian fight. It was Limited Rampage versus ESDK. Will this be another Malaysian fight? Right, and uh, I'm I, I'm not really sure that there's a uh, there's a place that you can stay here. I think this is coming from the update, right? Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've seen this, <laughs> like those trees where Nish is at, right? Yeah, that's. Quite nice. Oh, but Wasabi seeing a fairies there getting a knockout. Mega Mine getting banned. Oh, this might not be good for ESDK. Uh, but look at the opportunity uh, for the vantage point of DVT. But you know what? This team's got to come in into limited rampage uh, position. Oh, look at oh, DVT pushes in. And DS I... Esports just got eliminated. Now Wasabi is swimming in the swamp. And Shark also... With the name Shark swimming. <laughs> That's warm. And Nish is throwing out troubles, uh, but he realizes. Ay, ay, ay. Molotov coming in. Nish has to come out. Ah, but being spotted from the top there uh, of a suicide squad. Uh, Wasabi is now in trouble, but Nish is also in trouble because suicide squad still uh, still being stubborn they're not gonna come down they're try gonna try and make trouble for the teams that is currently surviving and i think i think right now wasabi realizes uh there is uh, another player in the water <laughs> yeah i think uh, wasabi going to the water is a bad bad idea because again if you get killed there you won't get knocked uh his teammate who pushed in which was shark got killed in the water so that was, uh, you know, being killed helplessly. 
Now the the situation now for Suicide Squad is going for the healing game. I think Magic is doing the same thing. Yes, and you know what? Wasabi is actually in the water in the car, so he's able to heal. And Nish realizing that it's a player in the water, he's gonna come up, he's gonna do the shot. Uh, yes, and he did. And Wasabi is out, and wow! It's a limited rampage game again! <laughs> yeah, and that was the second time around that they got the chicken dinner in the candy. And, and all we yeah. can say now, in game link, limited rampage are the kings of the candy. And definitely it is a Malaysian uh, fight Because if you realize ESDK was also surviving at the top 3 position So I guess guys VKND is going to be taken over by the Malaysian <laughs> Right And uh, they got a really yeah. good kill count as well They got a total mm -hmm. of 9 kills for Limited Rampage One of them getting uh, the most kill in their team Is Mr. Emoji hey, and Emoji. Ferris Ferris Right And Going on second, uh, this is a really good sign for uh, for Suicide Squad. They they got second place, so coming from the bottom uh, bottom half of our teams on the scoreboard, they might want to try to get that top five or maybe even top four. And uh, DVT also the same thing with them. Look at how many kills they got. They got eleven. Wow, that's amazing for DVT and Wasabi being that man in the water just now uh, was getting the highest kill for the team. Right, six kills. I think he's he got the most kill out of everyone right now. I mean, the second one behind him is Sayuri of uh, Tokyo Striker. And then we have Zizak mm -hmm. with four. So these Thai players really are damn good. <laughs> yeah, man. And they make those bullet uh, worth... Uh, it, it, it will be a land and kill. Yep. Right. So for the others, I think... Uh, I think this is kind of a kind of a, a of a different game for everyone because look at the the top teams. Look at Day. Yeah. Day is at fifteenth. At the bottom. <laughs> and then uh, we have Team Legacy at thirteenth. So that's zero points for you guys. Except they have one kill from Boonie. Yes, so. and uh, actually it does say a lot about the region because to what I know um, for Malaysia and Indonesia they like to play smaller maps and uh, I believe that Thailand uh, they would play with the bigger maps so probably uh, that's that's how that's kind of like consistent for these teams when the scoreboards is out we do see the bigger maps belongs to the Thai region or the Myanmar and then when it comes to the smaller ones it's usually the Indonesia or the Malaysia teams right and again Malaysians are dominating the Vikendi map. That is what I can say. I'm, I'm now excited on what's going to happen with the scoreboard after this. Because the top teams didn't really have good scores in Vikendi. Those bottom half teams got good scores. And mm -hmm. they might uh, get the positions of the others. Maybe in the top four or top five right now. Um, Krim, uh, Krim able to survive at least, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, while, we're, while we're waiting, I'll go inside the room <laughs> just to make sure I, I, I won't miss it. <laughs> yes. While we're waiting for our live scores. And Sis Jenny, why don't you uh, invite all of our viewers on uh, the website and also the app? Alright guys, so those of you who are watching, um, we are from GameLink. I'm with Kuku and um, myself, I'm Sis Jenny. We are GameLink casters. So guys, if you are not sure or you're wondering what is GameLink, uh, this is the time where you check out GameLink.net and uh, you can... Right now, there's only two tournaments left, but uh, that does not mean we are going to close down anything. We have tournaments almost every month, uh, plus it's coming to the end of the year, so definitely we want to take a quick break. But when we return next year, uh, these similar tournaments will come in, and that's where people like you guys... Um, you can use this platform to train with all these semi-pro teams. In fact, tonight, uh, the teams that are with us today are semi-pro to pro level. So that's why uh, some of these names are familiar. You realize that probably you, you've seen them in PMPL. You've seen them in PM, uh, PMCL. PM, PMCL. So, yep, uh, this is a, a, 
the platform that you want to use to train your current clans or your current squads uh, to move up into the international grounds because you will get to meet these teams and you get to play with them and you get to learn from them. So I'm not sure if there's any other comp- um, platforms out there that is um, able to that allows you to do this, uh, to, practice, to practice with this kind of uh, the teams that have made it somewhere. And in fact, some of these teams, before they even made it big, they started with us and they kind of t- um, climbed the ladder and now they are playing for the international match. In fact, one of them is playing right now. It's called Power888. They were from Gamelink and now they are in PMGC. So guys, this is a good platform for you. Download the app from Android or iOS. I O yeah, I O S. I O S. Uh, both of us. Uh, I mean, both of these platforms has gambling applications. So this is really for you, a chance for you not to miss because come on, like new teams like yourselves out there who have been wanting to try out this kind of competitions, gambling is there to welcome you with open arms. Right, and like what you said, power triple eight KPS. Uh, there's also teams who got discovered here. Uh, Evo's Burnout, or uh, it was Team Ragnar, now called Face Clan. And look at where they are now. Look at where Bull Shark is now. Uh, also, same goes with Orange Esports. Uh, they discovered here Pub Pub, uh, uh, Leon, Stalker, and the, and the others for, for Orange Esports. But again, they had changed their lineups. But anyways, guys, before we proceed with uh, that talk, about game link let's now proceed with the live results here let's see who is now in the leaderboards and look at the top five right now three thai play uh thai teams two malaysian squads big 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 push there by the malaysian teams but guys like i said this is a very early in the game it can be anybody's game but one thing's for sure it's going to be difficult to catch up with day it is indeed, and uh, they are guaranteed already. Like what I said, they are guaranteed to get that championship, mm-hmm. to get that two thousand Singaporean dollars. And if uh, if I were uh, day, I'd buy a new phone because uh, my phone is lagging <laughs> when I play Aww. classic matches. I probably will buy this this December, hopefully soon. <laughs> but anyways, look look at look at the look at Team Legacy. They came from top two, now they're on top six. What a drop of a score there. Mm. Yay. I don't know, they were like changing the game style. I think that was affecting them. They should just play like yesterday where they don't have to make those big rotations. I'm not sure why they do that because today they came in with a different name also, you know, and uh, everything is different. So they got to try and uh, game um, level up, step up their game in order for them to gain that top five positions. And uh, you are correct with that. Uh, like what I said, changing your names might change your game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, right. it's kind of uh, like a psychology thing, you know? Yeah. It's not uh, that physically you cannot play, but I mean, you can play, but uh, technically you change your name, so this might affect your game as well. But again, for the others, we have uh, Army of Justice still not getting... Uh, those scores i asked you about them in the early uh stages of our live stream and uh they were at i think seven so they came down so again for the myanmar fans out there for army of justice or even the uh, ds esports they are on the same level right now 55 points and uh they would need a chicken dinner at least in order for them to secure uh, one of the top five slots here for the price pool. As for the others, uh, teams coming from top 12 down below, they need to get both games chicken dinner in order for them to get a piece of that price pool, right? Yes, most definitely. And um, I don't know, it's hard for me to see because there are uh, actually good teams that was performing, but apparently... Uh, I don't know what happened today. They are just like, maybe they are tired. Uh, um, you know, because you have to play back-to-back games. And this is only the games that you are seeing them playing today and yesterday. We have no idea how much time they use for training. So, some of these teams might be already worn out, the players. So, uh, probably that's one of the causes for the Myanmar team. Because we've seen how strong Myanmar was when we started the semi-global finals. 
But uh, for now, they are underperforming. Uh, probably they are a bit fatigued from all the trainings and the gameplay. Yes, and uh, one thing uh, that I also, one team that I also uh, look at here is DVT. Uh, they came from the very bottom, if you remember. They came from the yeah, very yeah. bottom now. They're on seventh place. So they are trying to wake up, proving that they are the winners of Ace of Asia Season 3. And as per League Ops here, top second until top five is still open for 13 teams. Not sure, though, which 13 teams are those. Uh, unfortunately, for, again, for Orange Esports fans, they are just playing for pride. So, guys, uh, I think we need to go on a uh, on a short break here because i think uh sis jenny has to go somewhere or probably myself as well i haven't really gone to the bathroom <laughs> yeah, so i'm gonna uh, eat all my chips <laughs> so guys uh, we will be right back we still have uh like around seven minutes to wait on uh this is coco tv i have your sis jenny on my side this is game links pubg mobile coronation season two and we will be right back so sit back and relax yeah.
And guys, we are right back here with GameLink PUBG Mobile Season 2 for 5,000 Singaporean dollars. And we are back with match number 9. So we're down to the wire here, guys. Last two games is the second to the last game of the whole tournament. It's been a while, guys, that uh, we casted this tournament. My name is Kuku TV, and I have Sis Jenny as my partner for tonight. And guys, Sis Jenny's still not yet here, so I will uh, try to talk a lot here for you guys. Again, match number nine, back in Erangel, the OG map of PUBG Mobile. And we're just waiting for the flight to commence. Hello. <laughs> Oh, it looks like we're going to stop the match. Oh. Ooh. That's something new. Yeah, we have stopped the match for the meantime. Uh, there's one player who is not in as of the moment. And that's uh, how, how powerful <laughs> the cards that we have. We can actually stop the match. Again, if something is wrong. And guys, again, we are back here. On, on your screens, since Jenny just got back from her yes. break. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yep. Well, uh, this is a nice quick break uh, for me to tell you guys that, uh, yes, um, GameLink do uh, tournaments, uh, big tournaments like this, and the cards that we use, some of them, we allocate uh, uh, important, uh, usually in the final rounds, we use these tournament cards, which is provided by Tencent, Tencent themselves. So in order to get this, you need some, some form of licensing and stuff. And uh, it was a big highlight already, um, if I'm not wrong, um, last, last two weeks, uh, that Tencent kind of like highlighted for uh, those kind of tours who are using... Uh, uh, money uh, especially when you are registering into a tournament and then you know you are giving your money to the organizers you got to be careful and do that research uh, whether they are going to run away with the money because Tencent is on the hunt uh, to look down for these kind of tournaments who are not licensed uh, by Tencent itself so in gaming you don't have to worry for that because your registration money it's never going to be eaten just like that we are going to get the tournament uh, we're going to we're going to do the tournament and you will get you will get to play so you don't have to worry uh did the tournaments in gaming right Kuku? right and uh guys uh, just for tran transparency the reason behind why we had to restart the match is because there was one player that is unregistered who got into the room so we have to make sure here with the league ops together we have to make sure that all players that is inside the room are registered so that we can have a good game and at the same time uh, a fair game for everyone right yes very much and so by the way guys uh me and kuku we are wearing our jerseys you know yep. we have this esports team <laughs> so i'm actually using this is not my team but uh, kuku is using his team demigods i'm using uh the <laughs> 995 or scdf esports from singapore so yes we are supporting all these different uh esports uh teams from all over the world so if you do want us to give a shout out to your teams you know what to do pm us and we'll give you the address you can send your jerseys to us we will wear it uh for the the future tournaments that we will be casting right yeah Kuku? you're right and uh actually uh sis jenny you can actually buy this jersey soon on our page i'd like to promote the demigods gaming page soon mm -hmm. it'll be available in the shop and it is actually so affordable uh, in in SGD, it's gonna be around. Let me check. It's gonna be around nineteen Singaporean dollars to get one of these. Oh, that's good money. I mean, like that's worth. In Singapore, it's like thirty dollars per jersey, guys. Can you imagine <laughs> that? So, okay, if I'm gonna print for my entire clan, which is about thirty people, I'm gonna go like one month. I'm gonna eat grass. <laughs> you gotta eat rice and then you just put some soy sauce on it yeah. i don't even think i will have soy sauce <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding so anyways we are back in the match uh to our league ops who was being very um de you know being very detailed with the checking and uh, hopefully there is no intruders this round yeah and hopefully there's none i will try to check on my end as well let me try to see Think uh, I think there's none. Yeah. Is there the imposter? Can we press the emergency <laughs> button? 
Oh, oh, you know what? Speaking of jerseys, there's also a, a Fuku TV jersey that is uh, part uh, in partnership with Gameling. If you have seen that before, yes, I, I think I think you've you've seen that. It is still available on G6 Esports Gaming Lifestyle. Uh, that's much more uh, expensive that's compared pricey, yes. <laughs> compared to my uh, to, to the demigods one. But yeah, if you are interested, if you're interested <laughs> on getting one. You can actually try to, you know, try to print out uh, with a 15% discount. Uh, just use the promo code KUKU15. That's KUKU15. Wow, you have a promo code. Well done, KUKU. <laughs> Did you know uh, it's been uh, it's been like a, almost a year already? Or actually more than a year that I had that. <laughs> nice, nice. Somebody is a star. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they had a sponsor uh, with the... Uh, with G6 Esports Gaming Lifestyle from Singapore. <laughs> yes. And by the way, guys, those of you who are uh, just tuned in, by the way, this is Kuku TV. Uh, he's actually one of the face of uh, Game Link Caster. So if you have not followed him, you should. Because he has not only do Game Link uh, casting, he has been doing a bigger, bigger jobs out there. In fact, directly from Tencent once over in the PH. So guys, do check him out and learn from him. And he has... Uh, good knowledge in PUBG casting. If those of you who are about to stream, because I kind of see a few comments just now uh, saying that I'm new in streaming, uh, do help me. So maybe you can just uh, DM or personal message uh, Kuku TV himself. Right. And uh, you can send me a personal message. There's no fees, you know. You just have to... Oh, no, no. There's actually a, there, there's actually a support button on my page. <laughs> so you can try oh, yes. to... You can try to do yeah. some support on my on my page and i can mm -hmm. teach you some exclusive stuff which uh one of the okay. things that i uh i put on the support button but anyways we are now <laughs> live again here in the global finals of the pubg mobile gameling coronation season two this is kuku tv i have your sis jenny one of the upcoming stars from singapore the flight path here coming from the very bottom side of the south island going to the middle of Severnian style. I love this flight route, Kuku. This is really creative for teams. Uh, this is like an art for them where they can already plan their uh, their route, where they're gonna go. It's really nice uh, to be just cutting across like that. They can have the choice of the, of the island and also the mainland. And it's like uh, cutting a piece of pie or, mm -hmm. or pizza. A piece of cake. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of getting hungry. <laughs> you, you know, it's, it's five games, this Jenny. So you have yes. to you have to eat your 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 drink your vitamins, <laughs> eat your your food, you know. But oh look look yeah. look at Team Five, Team Legacy yeah. is having the same route as what Team Number Three is, which is Onyx mm -hmm. Esports. Oh look at the circle, cuckoo! Nice. I kind of like the circle. It's yes, really a, good. There's a middle circle of for everything. everyone. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, but I'm getting shot there, Boon! Ay 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 from Onyx! And C Sky only with his PP Bison, 53 bullets in it. Oh and he does have the, the DBS. Actually I, I've been trying to to try the DBS uh telling the people it's the new meta for PUBG Mobile, you know? Instead of instead of using the micro Uzi, why not use the DBS, DBS. and ooh, yeah. there you go, a player got what uh Ain. Ain Hajar. I'm not sure where to see, but oh there you go. It's oh, actually oh. in ruins. It's in ruins. Ay. And I, I did see I said I did see that uh early X -Force. on. It was uh yeah. X Force. Oh okay. X Force. Oh dear. Oh, by the way, guys, this is our fourth match. So we are going to go hype for you guys because you know what? It's going to be their last two matches to get into the top five to win that victorious prize money. And after that, they're going to get a good rest and uh, probably get a good treat from out of it. So guys, come on, give your best support. Uh, spread the views. This is the time where you come in and watch our last two matches for these teams to get the prize money, Kuku. Yeah, this is the last two matches. Of the whole tournament it's kind of sad to be honest because uh the tournament will be ending and we're gonna have our last uh cast for this tournament as well you know yes and look at that i mean uh they really literally wants to get killed look at that they are stopping where teams are and it's over in the riverbank can you see that yes and i'm now looking at it right now flush is currently knocked down hypes 
It's just going for that swimming competition as what yeah, they have yeah. done before and Onyx Esports mm -hmm. just realizing that Anjar Esports is just getting way too aggressive. Yes, but I would say it's also Team Legacy's drop area. They kind of make themselves vulnerable, you know. They were like uh, trying to chase teams with the parachute, but they were not the first one to land. So they are getting those chase initially from Onyx, now from Ayn. And uh, look at Tele right now. Tele has a four-time scope. He can use the scope right now. Ayn. And there we go. He actually Ayn. knocks Miliano down. Ah, That's right. Your Branky is now going to escape. Looks like uh, this, is, this is a bad idea. For ANJR Esports, it's not... It's not a good start here. Milano. Yeah, and Miliano is uh, now going to be down to low HP. Boom. Oh, so hypes! Oh, nice! What a good counter there for Zooms. So, so hypes was just swimming around, not really participating in the skirmish here. Just trying to chill, chill in that water. Just got uh, victimized by Zooms. Uh, there goes two players of Ayn Hejar, but uh, that was really good for Onyx being very uh, vigilant, vigilant in the in the map and re realizing there are teams that is scattering around. So they kind of moved from their drop area and followed uh, where uh, this player were running onto and uh, kind of get that kill. They and made it, that count. They got three kills already. Right, right. And uh, if you actually try to look at the, the map, all the other teams are really scattered. They're not they're not wanting to okay. do the engagement, you know? Mm. They're trying to play yes, safe yes. because, again, these are the last two games and they want to mm -hmm. prove to everybody why they are in the Global Finals. They want to win, especially the other teams who ha hasn't really gone into the top two or maybe top one in, uh, in the, the scores or the results for each maps. You're right, yet again, uh, but... Like, uh, like what Cuckoo said, everybody's in their drop areas and they are just going to play uh, passive for now until they meet at the very last circle or when they are rotating into the the new newer circles that will form up later. And I really love uh, Onyx Esports lineup. The, the thing is, I think they don't have yet that chemistry because uh, it's a combination of Purple Mood Esports Zooms and then the two players from the original Onyx Esports, which is Tele and Seasky, and then one player from Face Clan. I really love the, the lineup, but again, it is not working as of now. Probably just way too early for them to team up. Yes, uh, I would say this is actually a good time for me to uh, just read uh, the comment uh, that I kind of glanced through. Uh, apparently, one of them is asking us to explain about yesterday. Uh, like what happened? Yeah, like how which team was actually uh at you know doing very well. Oh, and stuff. well, yesterday, guys, if you are not able to watch the live stream, Team Day from Thailand just got three chicken dinners. There is one chicken dinner for Team Limited Rampage, and the other one was from uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, striker. Yeah, Tokyo Striker. Yep. Yeah. So mm -hmm. four Thai teams winning chicken dinners in four matches and then one malaysian squad which is why we see the scoreboard right now having three ties and, and two malays yes yeah. correct so that was what happened yesterday of course uh, uh yesterday gameplay a few teams was actually performing apparently today some of the teams oh d us is getting the first uh, knockout there uh as i thought that they wouldn't fight but i think they are going to fight apparently yeah, they, they are, and this is this is the time that they frag out, and Winter will be taken down as well there. Jacob, oh. again, really good with that push, with that fragging out. Winter will be killed here shortly. Yes. There you go. And another oh, nade yeah, coming in. Oh, Kendo! Oh. Kendo is the only one alive. He and knows. he's going to escape. Oh, no. Wipe out for the eyes. Oh, my goodness. He tried to escape there, but that was just a, too slow of a Dasha that we just saw there. Yeah, but bro, what a clutch from TDX. Holy cracky moly. Yeah, holy cracky moly. And again, Pakistan is in the bag. This might be their time to shine. And if you remember from the global semifinals, uh, Sis Jenny. Uh, team uh, Team TDX H2E always wins in Erangel. 
Yep, you're right. Uh, they are always at the hill side of the Pochinki. That is where they usually will meet up with other teams and they will try to clutch this place or their playground uh, for uh, for Irangle, especially when the zone ends in the mainland. Right, and uh, look at what Flop is doing. He's trying to get up that roof. For me, it's kind of hard to get up on this roof now compared to the, to the previous update. Who's that? Which one? It's Flop. Oh, okay, okay, okay. From Suicide Squad. They're trying to get up the, uh, <laughs> the roof. Okay, I can see that. But, yeah, then, again, but then again, uh, we, we see here a blacklist just uh, right on the area, on the apartments. And we see there Tyra and Claire together. Uh, that's that's always their game plan there for blacklist. It's, uh, it's a duo formation wherein Claire and Tyra will back out, will back up each other, and then Aeons and Alas will do the same thing on the other end. And it's not um, it's not effective here right now, actually, right? Yes, apparently, but uh, I think they are trying out. But you know what, Cuckoo? I think Tokyo Striker might just run into TDX, or not. Yeah, not. <laughs> yeah, they were on the bike just now. But uh, apparently, TDX have chose a different uh, hill, but they are just the hill billies, you know, guys. That they, they like to be on the hill, and they will try to hold the fort for that. And the only uh, the only team that is in the middle right now is SIG and uh, Blacklist. Uh, team Tokyo Striker uh, probably in the middle as well. But look at now the the rotations that they're doing. And Team Day, uh, Tunny again. Ooh. Day is a is a really good team on predicting okay. where the circle is going. I look at ESDK and uh, TDX now having a standoff, running into the compound. But uh, ESDK is trying to hold on. To that this is my place you gotta get out of my place so let's see this end off this will be interesting uh on who will be wiped out first oh and that is a knockdown from m6 rush will be now crawling to his teammates and now i think uh there's one knock for each team right now here right it's an even game right now uh esdk has to prove a point why uh they are this. Oh, another knock there, and this is going to be a push from TDX. Oh, another one. Here. Yep, and I think it's not going to be ESDK's game, apparently. And only Magix is alive here, and uh, I'm not sure I... he can actually get it done. He's now going to get damage. He's going to escape I... as well. Same as what I... Team Diaz actually did, but oh, he will not be dead. doing it. So it's the same situation. For DSE Sports, right? Yes, but look at TDX, guys. They are so feisty. They are going to come into people's place and they are just going to wipe that off their hands and say, no, this is mine instead of yours. Yeah, they're fighting for their life here oh in this God. tournament. They have a big chance as well on getting into that top five and getting a, a piece of that, uh, of that price pool. But then again, it's not always the same for each team, you know? Each team has a different type of skill set. Look at look at the X9 esports here from APG. He's trying to look at uh, TDX H2E, but looks like uh, his teammate said, "No, you ha you gotta go to where we are because again, this is a team play." Look at Day and APG now doing a car chase. Uh, Mia is seeing that, and right in front of Mia is another Day player, and they are gonna do that car chase, Kuku. We're gonna see a car chase. Hot Wheels on the way. Yeah, Hot Wheels on the way. It's kind of like uh, Death Race or Twisted Metal <laughs> in my eyes. But yeah. let's look at Tunny right now. Tunny's just not really firing uh, at the enemy, but uh, looks looks like one of their players will be stuck there. And that is Nah yeah. from APG Esports. Mia getting a one knockout there from APG, and that's an immediate kill. But they are making this car chase worth man and another oh they have gone up to Tani's area don't bother looting man look at that guys they don't even care about the loot they're just gonna go and find where's the rest of the teammates yeah they probably got uh really good loot there uh mm -hmm. says jenny that's why they're just going for the kills again this is this is the time that you really do frag out especially with the point system that we have 
And there we go, TDX again! Get it. TDX again! TDX again, uh, coming back to Pochinki. Actually, this is their place of drop zone for TX. I've been seeing them in Irangle and they chose uh, Pochinki. And now, they are just going to take over APG. Um, uh, trying to uh, make them get out of their compound. And, and good thing they have this uh, small house here. Where they can actually hide, but ooh, Tunny with that tiny from the top Still with that uh, mini 14. Oh, but the grenade coming from APG ooh. killing Dread, and uh, that's gonna be one guy off from the team for TDX. Okay, this might be a reverse game. Uh, oh, look at they coming in. Uh, they will want to try and finish APG, but that is oh, Tunny getting a knockout there. That was very fast for TDX. I think oh. Tunny didn't oh, know that APG is here, you know. APG, yep, yeah. But there is two teams right now that is super close to one another and uh... Oh and Tani is being eliminated into the lobby by APG not letting TDX getting that kill still Um... Oh but they... And TDX and APG guys this is gonna be a close close battle Oh and Nier got knocked down from afar right. by Zizak Oh my god Only one left standing now And he's oh, actually Nia. prone and he's lying down the grass and there's a grenade oh, oh almost almost oh, getting no. him <laughs> oh no that was so close and he's trying to do that revive still and it, importantly to have more teammates than only one survive but that's very wise of mia but tdx as uh jsw is from the back he might do the flank but he's getting disturbed by tokyo striker on his oh side. another name oh. coming from jacob of TDX H2E now, APG can actually go for the third party here, but not able to do so. Uh, coming from X9, this will be difficult for Day right now. Uh, I oh, yeah, yeah, straight away. Holy crackamole! <laughs> yes, man, cuckoo, that's how you do it. But now, TDX is not the end for them. They have to try and eliminate APG or try to not let Tokyo Striker get those kill steals. Right, and uh, APG here still uh, holding their ground. I think uh, Tokyo Striker had already bailed out. Zizak is trying to get away from this area now. Yep. But uh, apparently from that far end, Zizek was able to get a knockout just now. Being uh, that, I would say it was a disturbance uh, for Day uh, to get disoriented initially. But spray, spray, spray to uh, TDX and APG. Right, uh, and yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, Y2E. Yeah, yeah, oh, I think he actually uh, missed that uh, window. That now the smoke is currently in his house. That's, that's an error here for uh, Y2E, but he's going to have a lot of smokes in his bag. Nade coming in as well, not damaging Y2E. It is just an amazing skirmish that we're having right now here, says Jenny, between these two teams. We're gonna see who will knock out who first, but so far nobody is getting that knockout, just damages. And uh, Tokyo Striker at the back just listening, just looking for that kill. Still, if you can see Zizek, he has his scope on already, he's just gonna hit into anybody that he sees into his crosshair. And I think, uh, I think APG has a, a good position here, in my opinion, because they have two houses that they can use, and only one house for, for TDX H2E. So this is going to be one dimensional right now for the Pakistanis, but on the other hand, two dimensions for APG. They just need to uh, be smart with those plays here so that they won't get knocked. Yes, and definitely for TD TDX, they are not able to use the top floor because uh, there is people actually looking right straight into TDX area. So if they were to uh, pick into the level 2, they will get hits from Tokyo Striker, I'm telling you that. Right, and uh, look at M6. M6 just waiting on that staircase. Just mm -hmm. waiting to actually get out. Looks like both of the, the teams, all of their utilities has already been used. And look at X9. X9 doesn't have any patience anymore. He will try to push in. I'm not cool with this anymore. I, I need to kill these guys. I mean, uh, there will be one of the players that will be so angry like that because, you know what, they just want to get those blood in. Uh, they are not able to do anything and, you know... Ooh, and sh fire, fire, fire. And you know what will happen if you fire too much and not get kills? Other teams will come into this area. And that is what you do not want when you have a battle of another team. Because third party is never a beautiful game out of it. And look at Y2E. Y2E is trying to go to that uh, other area there. Trying to flank them from the left side. And uh, this is going to be good for Team APG. He just needs to make sure he won't get knocked by J JSWW. 
On the kill feed, we have Team Legacy and Blacklist International. Pico will get taken out. What is happening now to Team, Team Legacy? Legacy is being uh, eliminated. Uh, there was from Blacklist. Actually, oh, there you go. There's a first Ooh. knock here for Simple oh, no. X and now right. X9 and Y2E. They oh, have yeah. to secure oh. the spot. They have to defend themselves. And he got seen there. Whoa, what a shot there. Going through the, the window. Oh, oh nice. a drop shot as well. Coming from X9. Oh. But no. Oh, he, 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 he straight away. Jacob again, guys. Look. These guys are the real killers. <laughs> because in the scoreboard. They are in number 11, but do you know how much the, the kill, their kills is? It's 42 kills, Kuku. 42 wow. kills. They are in number 11. And the closest one that is 40 plus kills is actually Tokyo Striker, which is at number 2, which is 46 kills. So, bro, they only need to win a chicken dinner to push their points up there to get into the top 5, honestly. And you are correct indeed with that one. Uh, team... TDX H2E coming from South Asia, just mm -hmm. proving themselves why they need to also compete with the Southeast Asian teams. And uh, mm -hmm. this is go this is just showing that uh, going further away from Southeast Asia uh, with Gaming Year was such a good decision, right? Yes, definitely. Uh, even though you know Pakistan, they have so I mean, like we have Pakistan, we have uh, um, um Maldives, right? The other day, and yeah. then we have Iran. Uh, so there was the other parts of Asia. This is where uh these teams comes in, and apparently, uh, look at how they are performing, being the only flag in the scoreboard. Pakistan getting that much amount of kills, being at number eleven, bro. Yeah. Bro. All I'm gonna <laughs> say now is, Pakistan is in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know that meme? We, we we have to be careful. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> do you know do you know do you know that meme is what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll show you I'll show you later the meme. <laughs> oh okay, 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 okay. I, I get you, I get you. <laughs> it's a meme. It was a bit slow there. It's a meme, you know. Pakistan is oh, in the I back. Didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know that, oh my there, gosh. There's okay. a video, there's a video about that. But anyways, guys, going back here with Gameling Season 2 Coronation, we are now almost done with last two games. And look at the mm -hmm. the Potato Hill, is what you said. We yeah, have Potato Orange <laughs> Esports and Tokyo Striker trying to get this position. This is a really good uh, Potato Hill, is what you said. Because look look at the, the cannons. Look at all those cover that you can use. Yes, actually, uh, but also you have to be good in the open in order for you to use these uh, uh, areas. If you do not get or watch your six for these open areas, it will be vulnerable for you or it will jeopardize the team. And uh, let's try to look on TDX right now. Again, two players left standing. They might get into Team X-Force. And look, they just bump at that waiting shed, but they are now getting shot. Uh, this is, this yeah, is the fourth right. phase. Uh, the blue zone is gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just wish that uh, Team Pakistan would get into the top, uh, at least top six uh, for this match, so that their survival points will help them to push uh, their position currently. Because honestly, this team is performing. They have been getting the kills. It's just that they are surviving, or maybe their rotation. They are getting spotted, and they have been ended. You know, getting uh, like probably number number eight, number nine, with only one or two points. They just need to get that survival points in order to get themselves up there into the top five position. And that is right. And look at look at how fast Onyx Esports just occupied the the few the few apartments left here in the circle where Blacklist is at. And Tyra is now going to try to push as well. A knockout there for, from Onyx. Uh, I think that is Team uh, Sayuri's team, right? Getting that knockout or right. And uh, that is coming from Team uh, Team Tokyo Striker, right? I think Tokyo Striker, but I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's not Tokyo Striker's knockout. I think it is... I have no idea, but they did give a knockout just now. Uh, so now, our kill feed is flooding yet again. Teams is rotating in, and uh, DVT is getting the top part of the circle currently. Uh, we've Suicide Squad right in front of them. Right, and there's two teams right now at apartments. That's why I keep on staying at this area. There's also one team on the, on the right side of our screens. We have uh, Team Tokyo Striker 1 on the northeast of our screens mm -hmm. here. We have Suicide Squad 
three tight teams right now. One team that is behind is from the Philippines, which is Blacklist. Yes, and um, Blacklist can uh, just escape from this engagement, actually. They are not contacting, so they can take their vehicles and do another rotation on their side. Let these teams fight, you know, because I think that's the wise choice for Blacklist right now. It is a good distraction for them if they are not contacting. Oh, and Czak just got AWM to the head oh by God. chefs. It's kind of like uh, celebrating Happy New Year, and then there's there's a big boom outside your house because of those fireworks. <laughs> yes, and um, okay, and true enough, Blacklist will try to make that escape. Look at Tyra uh, flooding all that troubles, but limited rampage getting into the kill feed. Uh. From afar, taking down AOJ. But uh, this is really good for Blacklist. They are using their vehicles to escape, uh, which is what I think is Ooh, wise. Oh, what a do. shot there coming from Astro X. Mini 14 shot to the head of Nat X, the player that you're seeing or you're talking a lot about. And mm -hmm. uh, on the kill feed as well, TDX again. TDX. Oh no, Limited Rampage is being eliminated by TDX. What? And now Blacklist is now pushing a team of Tokyo Striker. Three players down for for Tokyo Striker. I think there's only one player left. Pikachu, I choose you. Let's see. Oh no, from behind. We have Blacklist now getting shot by Suicide Squad. Yes, and uh, it didn't. It got backfired there for Blacklist. I wish they could have just rotated into the zone, uh, because they were quite safe just now. But now it's a bit hard for them with only one more player, and I'm not sure what is Alice going to do. Yeah, there we go. Zizak just needed clear off the map. What a way to uh to end his life, right? <laughs> yes. Oh well, so. Uh... Okay, apparently now the zone has shifted, and guys, look at who won the zone. It's AOJ. AOJ, and this might be their chance now to get into the top five because they're currently at eighth place, so that's really close for them to actually, uh, you know, qualify in the top five and get that price pool as well. <laughs> you are right about that, uh, but we still have DD in the area right behind AOJ. And uh, other teams that is Ooh. around here. AOJ getting Sun Sun there. That was Barcelona spraying away through the grass. And you can do that. You can do that. Spraying through the grass. As long as you know where the people are at. And now Orange Esports are pinned down. They're now pinned down at the edge of that circle down south. And I think they are being eliminated with all the other taps that is coming from the different teams. Uh, but uh, no longer in the circle right now. They are at number 10. And look at look at Snoop. Snoop from AOJ. Waiting for DVT. <laughs> to on... come out. Yeah, they're <laughs> waiting that for them to come out. Trying to be sneaky. Suicide Squad yeah, but... also trying to push in as well. SIG now getting knocked by Barcelor. R4MG also pushing in. Anything? Alas is actually going for the healing game. Look. Alas, yes. Uh, he is only having the choice of that, even though he has his vehicle right outside. Uh, I don't think it's going to be enough for him to do that quick push because Tokyo Striker is still right in front there. Uh, so he has to do that healing game for Blacklist. Oh, and that is Ooh. actually Zooms getting killed there on that aye, kill aye, feed. Aye. Same goes with uh, God's Jeffs. Of Team Onyx Esports. Mass Mello is currently knocked as well. Now going for the smoke here is Fluck. We'll try to go for the revive. Okay, and look at the zone is in no man's land, literally, with only one compound that is being occupied by DVT. But bro, they have to get out and get into the new zone, which is in no man's land. Just a, a, a small hill and just a few uh trees for them to play with. And you and you know what? I remember what Alas is doing. I think this is this is what iconic PH few did in the PMPL or the PMCLC wildcard finals where he actually tried to heal up but uh, while saying that he actually got just got killed by the play zone so unfortunately he only had five first eight so I don't think that's enough for him to do the healing game all the way to top five and look at, and look at AOG. yeah and I think uh, I think Snoop already already knows where the where the DVT are at, uh, just waiting. Wasabi was a victim 
of him just waiting on top of this roof. This is the place where you will start to see all the players will be doing the snake, uh, being in the grass, and uh, uh, they have to be quick with their shots, or do keep uh, spraying and spraying, but still you need to remember, be mindful of your ammo, and see if it's enough to, elim to eliminate uh, the people that will survive in the top three later. Right, and uh, look at look at AOJ right now, uh, AOJ Snoop, just waiting for DVT, and now able to knock down Wasabi again. Oh, wasabi. And the uh, Suicide Squad is on their left, so they have to watch their left side Ooh, but again they're able to to focus on dvt and dvt is now getting knocked down one by one. Oh, but black 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 goes down being the first person in front that would be jeopardizing the team now trickster has to come in nobody should get any more no oh, but Prin princess okay. got hit with a grenade now he's down to low hp he has to heal up <laughs> Look at the trouble, look at this plan B that is coming in. Uh, apparently, they just send black in front. And if there's teams that come in, they will deploy those trouble. And that definitely did disorientate uh, Suicide Squad. But now, look at SIG and Onyx just playing the healing game. This is going to be an easy chicken dinner uh, for the team that will win. I would say it could be R4MG, Suicide Squad, or even TDX. Yeah, it might be the Pakistanis who will be able to get this chicken dinner. Oh, yeah. But look at Shark, Shark, just trying to... Go over to behind, but nope, Trickster will find you. Now five teams remaining in mm -hmm. our second to the last game. This is the ninth match, yes. says Jenny. I'm kind of sad as well at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will miss those late nights. We have been casting for at least about a month back-to-back uh, -back action. And so, um, oh, look at NetX getting that uh, knockout straight. Uh, he was, oh, he eliminated straight away from Mega Mind. Yeah, Mega Mind needs to heal up, but R4MG realizes and probably hears the the heal. And now Zen will try to push in. There you go. What a play there coming from R4MG. Nice and so side squad eliminated at number five. Now uh we are gonna see black here. Well pushed into the Pakistani team who has been you look at the amount of kills this Pakistan team has. <laughs> wow. Can you see that? It's 17 kills, Cuckoo. They're just going for that kill. After kill, after kill here in the second Crazy. to the last map. And they are going for a hard push, going to that top five, maybe even the top top two. And now Toby getting needed yes. by AOJ. Zen is the last man standing for R4MG Z9. How many first aids do you have, bro? I think there's none already. <laughs> there you none go. None already, yeah. He, he has six just now, but no. Ooh, R4MG a bit vulnerable. And AOJ, guys, I think... Uh, it will be a vulnerable game for AOJ because CDX has the compound. It, it but seems now, like, the seems circle. like the circle. The circle has yep. shifted the circle. To, to the middle where no one is at. Yes, and I would say it's an, uh, it is an advantage for R4MG and AOJ being closer to the circle as compared to TDX. And look at Jacob. Jacob, their fragger here. Trying to get damage as well. Trying to find that angle, but... The only angle that he can see is actually R4MG, right? I mean, it's just that there's smokes at mm -hmm. where R4MG is at. Yes, and uh, uh, AOJ uh, Soul here, he's uh, keeping... He's actually trying to see in the house if there's anybody that is going to come out. They're going to get that spray in from him. I, I think uh, the best thing that they can do here is that to destroy this, uh, this Dasha. And, yes. and use it as a as a cover. Oh, Jacob is coming out. Oh, being shot there. I told you. They will get that spray down. And uh, it's only going to be M6. Ooh. I think M6 might just do that healing game. Look at how many um, he has. 13. Yep. He's going to do that healing game uh, for that. But uh, they got to start killing for R4MG and AOJ. In order for TDX to get at number 2. Right. And R4MG now. I think Toby... He's gonna try to hug the the blue zone and looks like the blue zone has stopped nope no it's just moving really slow here oh and AOJ. looks like it, it actually stopped already this is the final circle this is the final circle of the of the match number nine uh still still numbers advantage here for aoj m6 trying to get that second place finish at least you know TDX H2E gets 17 kills with second place, but looks like it's going to be a, a hard time for them. There you go. The boosters is not enough anymore. 
and not enough, not enough, or probably he didn't have enough time to get the other first aid uh, to heal up. So it was at number 3 for TDX. But still, it is a good uh, push up for TDX because the kills number that they have just now was 7. Oh, and the Black trying to get spray, spray. some spray there, but he will actually be the one sneaking oh, down. Toby. So it's now a 2v2 situation all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, but getting shots there, Toby goes down, and Zen, uh, being the only guy here, has... Oh, and that was AOG chicken dinner! And I, I, if I'm not wrong, that's the, their first chicken dinner of the, of the final round, actually. Yes, for, for the Global Finals, this is their first mm -hmm. ever chicken dinner for Army of Justice from Myanmar. Myanmar and yes. wow, how many kills they have as well. They have 12 total kills. <laughs> So Twelve this, kills. So this is one of the the things that all of the the other teams from the from the bottom half of that scoreboard can do, do yes, do man. do like what AOJ or even TDX H two E has done here, right? Yes, and uh, TDX is just crazy. The amount of kills that they get is the the points is more than a chicken dinner point. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen, fifteen. It doesn't matter if they get the chicken dinner. They are just gonna shoot up. I'm not sure exactly where they will stand in the scoreboard, but I won't be surprised if they are suddenly in the top five. <laughs> yes, we will be surprised later on when we see the results. But R4MG from Myanmar as well. Getting yes. a good game on match mm -hmm. number two. So this this mm -hmm. might be a game changer as well with the scoreboard. But again, we still have our one final game, which will change everything and will finalize all of the scores, right? Yes, most definitely. And I'm I'm looking forward for the last match, although it's a little bit sad. But uh, we will find out who is actually the most victorious of them all. The king of the corrupts. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm just trying to look at the, the teams here on the other side. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. trying to show the viewers how their team fared well in match number 9. And guys, that is match number 9 for you. Again, it's kind of sad here, this Jenny, that we're going to be down to the wire here on our last game but we're gonna be back in miramar so it's gonna be a long game it's gonna be a long game for us for our last match for the teams who is trying to make their way through the top five this is your chance now your final chance to get in there and just go all out, all out. and maybe maybe says jenny what they can do here is drop to where the other teams are dropping Right? Yeah, and get an early bloodbath and get those kills because at the end of the day, you still need the kills in order to push your points up because I don't think uh, surviving points is enough for the teams that is actually at the bottom part of the scoreboard. Right, and while I go inside the room here, why don't you tell us, oh, yeah. why don't you tell them rather about King Lee? Hi guys, so hello, I am Sis Jenny and I'm with Cuckoo TV. We are both gaming casters. I was telling you earlier on about um how gaming platform works. We are one of the esports platform here uh that prov that has different uh games uh of this esports platform. We have PUBGM, PUBG, PC, uh Clash of Royals, uh CODM, and the list goes on actually. So uh we are open for tournaments every almost every month we will have it. It's just that uh right now it's in December, so we will not see any upcoming ones just yet. We're gonna take a quick break before we start the year, which is 2021. Uh, we will have an array of uh, tournaments that you will get to register and guys and we are a licensed uh provider for your tournament so don't worry we won't run away with your registration money and you will get to uh, play in the tournament and not only that guys not only that one thing that is a bonus for gaming platform is that you get to play with all these semi-pro pro pro teams some of these tournaments you will get to meet them and share the same battleground with them so this is a good place for them to train correct cuckoo Right, and uh, again, you will be able to get a chance to play. There are some times that we are actually joined by the top tier teams across the world, like BTR Red Aliens. Remember when they played in Gameling? Also, remember when RQ Athena played in Gameling, but unfortunately not able to qualify, though. There's also Face Clan here. Uh, there's other teams like Deuce Esports, who is playing 
in the PMGC right now. PMGC. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're from Zeus. Mongolia, right? Zeus mm -hmm. Esports. Yeah, and um, you yeah. might we might see more in the future, guys. So again, please, please join the fun, join the action here on on Gameling. Uh, we also have other games, this Jenny, like we mentioned before, Call of Duty Mobile, Valorant, PUBG PC. We also have, um, what do you call this? Clash Royale. So if you are playing that as well, there's also a tournament for that. But for the meantime, I think the score is done. And I think we're not going to be on break here, Sis Jenny, because it is just less than maybe five minutes to go before we start the next match. And let's see. Wow, TDX H2E. They went from top 11 now on top three. What? What? <laughs> I told you he's gonna change. Wow, shout out to these Pakistan people. Guys, are you watching this? They have moved up the notch eight, eight, eight places to number three, man. That is a booster. Holy crack. <laughs> and it's not just them, it's AOJ as well, tying things up with them. The only difference is the kill count. Look at how many kills. Day and TDX H2E has 68 and 59. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 guys. Like I said, kill matters. So every player will have to start to kill at least uh, six or more, and then you will get a good kill for the team. All right. And uh, for the others, for the others, like we have Team X Force, they won in match seven. The thing is, they got down three spots since they didn't really do anything in match 8 and match 9. So they have to bounce back from that and uh, get that momentum uh, to to match number 10. Uh, one thing that I am really sad about is for the Mongolians. Team Legacy from top 2, they're now down to top 8. What happened there? I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it's a taboo thing for you not to change your name. Uh. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, or it's just a placebo effect. Uh, but I would definitely, I, I do realize that they kind of changed their gameplay today. Uh, we don't really see kill steals because, you know, yesterday it was a big, big difference that I keep seeing T1 or TL keeps getting into the kill feed for every of the matches. But tonight, uh, sadly, uh, we don't see that uh, for uh, Team Legacy. I don't know. Maybe they changed the way they play. Right. And uh, also, same goes with the Malaysians. Uh, they're now down to top six and seven. Uh, as we thought that it will, it will be... Thai teams and Malaysian teams getting those uh, price pool, but seems like it's not. Seems like uh, AOJ and TDX H2E says, nope, we will take your spot and we will be better in match 10. So for limited rampage for Mr. Emoji and for the team of ESDK Radiants, they are on the same number of points, but they have to, uh, like, not really close to the gap here, but to go away as far away from each other, you know, and get that yeah. scores in. For the others, we have Orange Esports, Anchor PUBG, together with Blacklist. Uh, actually, I would also include Onyx Esports and Jar. Uh, I think this is it for them. They're just playing for the pride. They're playing for basically uh, might be their training, <laughs> right? Might be their training and also uh some some of these teams actually already won that hundred dollars for being the top uh team in their own regions. Uh teams like APG, uh even Blacklist won that hundred dollars. If I'm not wrong, Ayn Hejar did Ayn Hejar won it? Oh no, Ayn Hejar didn't, but yeah, so these teams already uh, kind of have that moment of recognition for being the number one in their own region. So that does not mean that they are not good being in the global, uh, but that is probably uh during that moment, that it was their moment, and this time we have a different kind of winners uh, for the global finals. Yeah, and uh, Orange Esports, uh, I'm really so sad with uh, their team, not able to get a break, uh, get at least uh, top, maybe top three or maybe top four uh, in our matches here. So it's just always that Orange Esports getting killed way too early, if not early, just in the middle of the game, and again. 
I, I hope that Orange Esports will use this as a, you know, as a, an encouragement for them to be better in the next upcoming tournaments here on Gameling. But I mean, not only on Gameling, but for all other tournaments across Southeast Asia. Yes, uh, most definitely. This will be just a training platform for the teams who are probably not uh, making it out uh, victorious tonight. But then again, guys, it's a game. Every game, every tournament, there will be different winners. Even BTR, they can't win every time. They will have to drop sometimes <laughs> because, again, people there will be different kind of winners every day. It will be boring if you keep seeing <laughs> the same winner all yeah, the yeah. time. Right. Yeah. And maybe someday yeah. the Singaporeans, right? Uh, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I do give them, uh, you know, like, I do pray that one day we will get there. But, yep, we have different kind of gameplay for us. Uh, but we will get there so soon. Yeah, soon. <laughs> sooner or later, right? But anyways, guys. Sooner or later. I think we're going to be uh, starting in a few. I'm not really sure. Let me just check. The fly times again here. There is a few teams that is not in. I'm not sure yeah. whether they have gave up or a few teams, uh, a few teams hasn't really come uh, come in yet. So uh, for now, let's make a make a short break here, maybe a minute or two, Sister So we'll be right back, guys. Yeah. Most definitely, yes, we will take that short break. We are back, guys, with match number 10. Uh, it didn't really update it, so match number 10. <laughs> and this is Miramama. All right. All right, guys, this is Google TV together with Sis Jenny from Singapore. The, the lovely IAI, Miss IAI. <laughs> this is the final <laughs> match of the tournament. Again, uh, Everyone will be happy, but again, we casters here will be sad because there's no more there's no more tournament to cast until we wait on the next tournament. But for me, I have uh, tournaments that I will cast this coming Saturday. Uh, how about you, Sis Jenny? Why don't you plug your gigs? 
I do have tournaments also that will happen this Friday, uh, but it's only for Singapore. Uh, so most of the tournaments that you will see in my page later on will be based locally in my country. So you guys can check me out if you want to see. Uh, so yep, that's on my side. But uh, since we are at this, I would like to thank all the teams that actually participated in Coronation. Because uh, how many teams do we have in total that registered with us, Google? Uh, that's around 350 plus registrants. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of few that is out there that actually had that hope high uh, to actually... And, and, and you know what? You know what, Sis Jenny? We need more registrants in the future because, again, this will give these teams more, um, you know, competition. Right? Yes. Uh, and also, it's good... Besides uh, giving that competition, it's good for those new and uh, upcoming teams, especially if you have that high ambitious uh, uh, thinking that you want to be a pro player. This is a good platform, like I keep emphasizing, for you to train with the, on the international grounds. Right, and uh, just got word here from the League Ops from Gameling that two of the teams are two teams from this Global Finals on the match number 10 didn't come in and uh, these are onyx esports and anjar esports looks like they already forfeited or conceded their game here on match 10. yes and we thank you for that uh for your participation because again uh, this is uh, a competition a tournament it is not trying to tell that anyone is better or worse but it's still a game and you made it this far for these teams. So you guys deserve a round of a big, big, big fat plus. Right. And uh, the flight <laughs> path for our Miramar match. Look at the flight path. It's actually a different a different uh, route. It came from uh, on the second game, if you remember. Uh, match number seven came from Oasis going to Puerto Paraiso. Now it's going from Oasis going to prison. Yes, and uh, hold on, I got kicked out of the match. Let me just get in. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. My PUBG just uh, restarted. Well, I'll go ahead and wait okay, for I'm you. Uh, Claire here will now loot up at a random compound. Able to get a six time scope there. Nice, but oh, nice. He, he does have a paper bag on his head, so it's not Don't a good. Kill me. It's not a good uh, helmet. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. But now he already has a helmet. So, if you can see these teams, uh, I think they want to make a quick game out of it. Uh, most of them are... Ooh, Orange here getting... Ooh. What is happening really? with Team Legacy? Like, yesterday they were, like, dominating. Now, they are not. No idea. It's like... <laughs> like, uh, did the change of name affect them too much? No idea, guys. What about uh, comments, guys? Why don't you tell us uh, what is happening to the Mongolian team tonight? Yeah, there's a lot of Mongolians watching this on Facebook, and uh, we want to know. Like, since Jenny and I, since Jenny and Cooper TV would would like to know what is happening with Pika, with Booney. Now Pika is gonna be surrounded by a lot of Orange esports. Yeah. And, and by the way, I would like to shout out KR Gaming from YouTube. He said, I already followed Cuckoo TV. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he said that in YouTube. Because yeah. I always see him in YouTube. You guys, I haven't seen the YouTube uh, channel. What's the comment so far? <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a few watching. Oh, uh, ooh, there we go. Another one. Praise, what? Praise. what is happening now? Again, I'm going to ask this one more time. What is happening with Team Legacy? They're just getting annihilated here in the last game. There, you, you saw that? Pika not able to aim really well. Are they drunk? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. And just like that, Orange Esports eliminated them it's usually the other way around right 
Yeah, it's usually they are the dominating ones. Uh, I have no idea, guys. I just hope they are drunk or... <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's quite sad to see that because they were really feisty yesterday. You should go and see the game yesterday. Those of you who are uh, who did not watch it, uh, go and watch it back. And that is where Team Legacy really dominated. Right. And uh, for the people who are still watching this uh, early uh, morning here, 12.30 a.m. right now, in Singapore and in the Philippines. I'm not sure what time in your area, but uh, again, thank you very much for sticking with us here on this final day of the Gameling Coronation Finals. Uh, yes, DK, though, uh, I saw in the kill feed earlier, uh, one player rush got naded by Alas. Oh, from Blacklist. Right. So one kill for Blacklist for that. Right. And uh, you know what? If Blacklist can get like 30 kills, and a chicken dinner, <laughs> which is highly unlikely that will happen. They can try to get into that top five. That's the only way for that for them to get in the top five. They need to get 20 plus kills, plus or not just 20 plus, but 30 plus kills and a chicken dinner. Because a chicken dinner is 15 points, not as much as the previous point system, wherein you get 20 or maybe even 30, right? Uh, it's only 15 points for that chicken dinner so like i said kill matters you gotta get as much kills to support your surviving points and uh, try to be like the pakistanis 17 mm -hmm. kills in aaron Gill, and they might kills. add more in this final map yeah they were flexing their kills this uh tonight and yesterday they were also dominating they were doing the kills also just that they did not get into the top uh six position so that's why they are suddenly popping up in the scoreboard because their kills kind of help them and they are really that consistent uh, tdx mm -hmm. and uh team day when it comes to kills kills and yep I, right. I love teams that does that you know because mm -hmm. uh, they don't really care about placement they just try to kill everybody yeah. in their path and then eventually mm -hmm. they'll get the placement that they 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 deserve you know mm -hmm. And uh, zone itself is closing into the south side of Mirama, and I, s I would say some teams don't even have to move. They just have to see it. Oh, I think there's a spray down here from ESDK. What uh, are they spraying? It's actually Fluff spraying to Mr. Emoji and uh, Faris. And Mr. Emoji getting those shots in to Fluff of Suicide Squad. Now he has to get out of this situation now with the smokes. And and look at the Mr. Emoji now trying to uh, to try to rotate, get a, a better angle here for Fluck. This is a really good uh, good play here coming from Mr. Emoji. Yeah, he's actually rotating from the top. He might do a spray down, and there you go, spray, spray, spray. Uh, but Flux managed to get that reach to cover himself. Right. Yeah, that and was a good damage there. Good damage indeed, and spray, 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 tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Yeah, man. It looks like Ferris is trying to get closer to Mr. Emoji, but he is stuck here with the uh, with the mini bus. Uh, we have to go back to where uh, Flock is. Thing is, right now, he's on a bad position. He's he needs to go to where Princess is at. And there we go. We hear those gunshots again. Coming from Limited Rampage. Limited Rampage, like well, when we talked about them in the scoreboard, uh, they went down in that top five. Now at, uh, I think, seven or eight spot. So they have to really bounce back, get a get a really good placement, and get some good kills in this final match. Yes, uh, definitely. They have to try and do something. Uh, same goes to Limited Rampage and ESDK. They are on like, the same... Uh, level right now but for the Malaysians I hope they get at least one of the prizes in the top five right and the uh, DS esports as well now trying to pass get past one of the players of uh, team 12 which is a uh, team limited rampage and this is uh, mr. emoji mr. emoji is just roaming around he, he just you just don't care anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah and in fact, today we see a bit of underperforming. It's actually DRs and also Team Legacy. They were dominating, you know, yesterday. But uh, I don't know. I think they are just fatigued. They are tired. Yeah, you have to really have a good schedule with your practice. And with your, uh, you know, 
uh, resting schedule, you know. You have to rest well for these type of, of tournaments. Because if not, you'll be tired by the time that the, the tournament starts. Like, uh, you already played your, like, 50th classic match and you haven't really rested yet. It's kind of like that, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I play six hours, I'm already tired. I'm seeing stars already. <laughs> It's like S I G. Is it is it honey stars? The one you eat? <laughs> no, it's more of like the star from the sky. <laughs> uh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spray, spray, spray down to S I G to X Force. Ay ay ay. But uh, but Ezo will be uh, deleted here by Wasabi. Wasabi. We'll also try to fire at Baron. Baron is gonna try to save Ezo. But uh, looks like Wasabi will be able to kill him right away here. Oi! Right, look at this smoky vehicle is now <laughs> from SIG. He's going to be so vulnerable. You know, Baron is actually stuck, and he's getting shot mm -hmm. from Team X Force ah, and one with more shot. Team DVT. And now there you go, limited rampage. One of their players got taken down. Try to look up oh. that situation here. Only, oh, no. only, uh, only Mr. Emoji is alive. This is their only time. And looks like Tokyo Striker will stop them from getting into that top five. Now nades are coming in. Almost getting through the three players of Limited Rampage. They thought that they're actually at the other um, car, which was the minibus of uh, Faris. But there oh, we go. another nade. Oh. oh no. Krim got, got killed there. Is, oh is, dear. Oh, I, I thought X Force got eliminated already, but let's go back here. Looks like Die Hard is now gonna push. A Nate as well. Oh! A Nate coming oh. from DS Esports! Nice! Knocks Mr. Emoji out of the way! And now Die Hard huh? realizes that. Another one! Ay, ay, ay. Oh, oh no! What? Oh, out. It's gonna oh, be sad God. for our Malaysian fans here. Mm -hmm. Their top team. Okay, guys. Yeah. Already is out, but still you have an ESDK. ESDK is still in the in the equation, so it's too early to say that. Hopefully, there will be that guys to uh, bring up the Malaysian flag in our last match of the day. Right, and now Winter is uh, still stuck here. Doesn't have any choice here but to stay. He has to uh, Fight. get help here from his teammates, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has three three players left here in the squad together with him. So he has to call out for his teammates. It is now or never. But they can see them from afar. Kendo is able to see that uh, players that is on top of the mountains. Uh, oh, ooh, but Winter goes down. How I wish Kendo did do did some sprays there. Because I was able to see the players through his scope. I'm not sure why he wasn't firing. Maybe it did not render. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah he, can, he can see it. Is he? Maybe just trying to save the bullets. Maybe Winter just, just tell his teammate that uh, you don't really have to save me anymore. Sometimes it's kind of like that, sis Jenny. Like, yeah. Uh, there will be sacrifices that that's gonna be made by these teams, but they is mm -hmm. still still alive here, trying to fight now against uh, Orange Esports, and we have Mia just trying to prone. Trying to be sneaky and able to see Uno, but that three times scope, it, it is hard to control that with the with a scarlet light. I would say for day, it is still important for them to get at least about six kills for them to get that guarantee two thousand dollars. Because Tokyo Striker, if they were to be striking their way in and getting at least ten or more kills, they are able to take over uh, day's position if they get the chicken dinner. Right, and uh, again, still, Day is really happy now with their position. They are really guaranteed to get any of the price pool, right? Definitely, but I'm think I'm thinking that they are going to be ambitious, knowing that uh, I might at the top, might as well just take the grand price pool, uh, price money, which is two thousand dollars. Right, I would and, do uh, that if I would. And also, what one thing that they can do is uh, try to try to kill off the other teams who is trying to get into that top five, right? Like if they yep. see the the team or the the clan tags on the on the IGNs, they will you know try to push their way through. But looks like Orange Esports again now bailing out. They're, they're not they're not the same as uh, 
the orange esports that we we've known, right? Like it's yeah. not it's not that they're so aggressive, they're just trying to be passive and aggressive, right? And doing that mind game. So it is really different kind of orange esports that we are watching right now because I did see a few comments coming in asking about orange esports, orange esports. Well, this is them. It's just that they have a different lineup uh, and a different game style, I would say. And uh, look at Zooms right now, all alone for Onyx esports. Yeah, and he's right smack in the middle of nowhere. Right. Uh oh. And I. I think it's not. Great. I think it's not ideal for him to, to show his uh, position. You know. Position, yeah. But he did a spray just now. To he, he, he's AMG. probably doing his, uh, his trademark smile. <laughs> zooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to imagine zooms smiling at you right now. Smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to look on Blacklist. Now, uh, very nearby, Suicide Squad. Uh, this is Princess. It's very nearby Aeons. And I think uh, I think Aeons hears the gunshots coming from Suicide Squad. But uh, he's not really going for the, for the kill here. Because all these other teammates are in the compound. Yes, uh, most definitely. Uh, they're just going to try and get those information needed, uh, especially for Aeons, um, being the sniper of the team. Uh, just oh, but shots were given over the ridge, so I think his position is actually known. So he he needs to make decision right now whether he wants to stay or he gotta go. Right, uh, I will try to switch over here to uh, Tokyo Striker as uh, looks like uh, DS Esports and them are having some type of sniping battle. And guys, um, uh, we have been having uh, this match. Uh, this is our last match of the day. The previous match, it ended at 30, 34 minutes. So, yes, these teams will really fight it out. And they will really um, fight until to the end of whatever minutes that you will see. So, guys, oh, tap, tap, tap here from Zizek. And as I, as I was saying, uh, it will be another long game for the teams, especially when there's only two or three teams left. They will try and just buy time uh, to, to try and get the chicken dinner. And hopefully we get into 40 minutes, like, <laughs> oh until the God. very end of the circle, you know. <laughs> that is so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know what? We have a last already rotated here. Probably he didn't know where the exact position of uh, Suicide Squad, so I think uh, he has to go further, uh, maybe near Team 14 here, or maybe go on top of another hill there. There's another hill right in front of Alas. Yeah, I think it would be an ideal choice. But I knowing um, a blacklist, like what happened in Irangle just now, where they could have bailed out, they didn't. So actually, they want to fight. They want to get killed. So I think blacklist wants to try and fight. Yes, and this is this is their time to show uh, the fans of Blacklist International right now is commenting on the live comment section. Hashtag break the code. <laughs> <laughs> Break this boy. <laughs> so yes, uh, guys, this is the part where you give your per, uh, your support to Blacklist, where they are going to show the last performance for Coronation. And it's kind of it's kind of interesting how the Mongolian fans are not commenting anymore. They're just so I think they're so disappointed with whatever uh, Team Legacy has shown uh, in the in the last five games of uh, of day number two in the global finals. I'm also yeah. disappointed. I mean, how about you, uh, Sis Jenny? Yeah, I mean, I think my tone of voice kind of show it. I, I'm not, like, happy. Like, in a way, I'm quite shocked that uh, a few, not only them, it's like three teams, they, they, they were dominating yesterday and they just died off today. And I think it's fatigue, really. Yeah, 10, games is, not, 10 games is not for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, 10 games is a lot. And this is how... We give more chances to all of these teams, and the, these other teams just took it. Like they took advantage of how many games we we provided in the finals. And so, sometimes, you know, in the finals, there are some tournaments that only uh, gives gives like three or maybe even four games. So that's a few, but with ten games, it's gonna be exhausting, right? Yes, definitely. 
Um, and that is not the amount of the training time that they have uh, amongst each other. Right. Anyways, uh, Kuku, look at this circle. It has shifted, uh, heavily shifted towards the south side. Still using a little bit of the water portion. Yeah. But interestingly, we have a few things that is already inside the circle. Just uh, not wanting to come out, trying to secure that spot. Uh, so uh, they are able to play for the last few circles. Do you see that? Tokyo Striker is in the middle. T TDX is in the middle. AOJ is in the middle. And guys, these are the three teams that are actually on the top five. Right, then we have to uh, take a look out for these teams, but uh, I'm st still currently uh, observing Orange Esports and Team Day. Team Day uh, at the very top, Orange at, at the very bottom of the scoreboard. So it is going to be interesting if Orange Esports would eliminate Team Day. Ooh, but Tyra getting wiped out with an explosion of a car. Now Claire will bow down as well. Oh no, for Blacklist. They are in the open, aren't they? Yeah, it's not uh, easy for them. It looks like uh, Alas will try to go for the push, trying to uh, revive his teammate. But look at how AOJ is just spraying, spraying, and spraying at Blacklist. There is a team right above them. APG will just wait out. Oh, oh and Uno! From the top there, uh, spotting APG, immediately getting that explosion of the vehicle from APG. Uh, being that uh, eagle eye for orangey spot here, just taking people from the lowest side of the hill. Right, and uh, Team Orange is so busy right now, fighting against Day and now with APG. Simple X is currently knocked down. Nah, it's just getting down to low HP and now there we go. Simple X will be taken away. And now the grenade coming in from Blacklist. Ooh. Oh, it's but just a smoke. No. It's just, just a smoke. Just a smoke. <laughs> mm. Maybe oh, try, this try. Is a grenade. This is a grenade, yeah, uh, for LS. Yeah, ooh, that's a good damage there. Well done. But Another you, one coming in. But you know what? Blacklist cannot get uh, on top of this because AOJ will just spray away, right? Yes, most definitely. Uh, or even Diaz being that watchman from afar. Ooh. See, I told you, Diaz is able to get APG uh, from that distance. They are. This is like their skill uh, from afar for Diaz. Yeah, you saw it. You called mm -hmm. it, says Jenny. Nice call <laughs> there. Nah, now getting hit. He's actually getting hit on this truck. This is a bad idea, actually. I've, I've tried doing this, and yes, you, you can be shot from a far distance. Even if you have that cover with that truck. Yes, uh, because honestly, they are just learning where the shots came from. They don't have to bother on their backs because uh, their backs is quite clear. So they can just be that third party. Be that annoying little bee at the back. Stinging everybody, getting all those kills. Oh, and Y2E from a APG just got wiped out. Oh, no. No. APG getting wiped out already being at the num number 14, right? Yeah, number right, 14 right, number are 14. for them. And, and look at AOJ, just rotating to where Tokyo Striker is at. Yes, and... Uh, they really love going... the middle. Oh, this might be really a... Uh, uh, a snake pit for uh, AOJ because Tokyo Striker has the vantage point right now. It's on the top and uh, Zizek Die Hard might just get a good view out of it. And looking at the aerial view, we also have TDX right yep, on the northeast side of the map and just gonna take a look at on uh, just two of this, two of the teams here rather. We have Tokyo Striker I think Die Hard is getting hit from afar Yes, apparently, and I think it's coming from. Uh, I think TDX. TDX. Yeah. Or is it X Force? I'm not sure anymore. Oh. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, a lot of oh, okay, okay. Oh, Suicide Squad. From Blacklist, uh, LS getting Diasks. Oh my gosh, there we go. Everybody's just killing get far and kills. Yeah, everybody's just killing each other right now. The spectate <coughs> is also. Bugging, <laughs> not able to find uh, someone who's not like, glitching out. But we see your Aeons with the uh, Mini 14. This is an open area, actually, so you gotta be careful. 
Yes, and this would be a good call for those of them who already got the ghillie suit. Or just undress yourself and uh, be with nature the same color of the sand. Right, and uh, we see here Pikachu of uh, Team Tokyo Striker just uh, trying to irritate Uno. Trying to pop those tires as well. Look at, look at the tires. I think uh, one of the tires already popped. Can't even get into this uh, vehicle. Oh, and damage, damage, damage there. Uh, to an orange. And uh, same, same goes with Zizak. Uh, Zizak also firing away at uh, Team Day. So there's like two teams that are currently nearby each other, and they're getting shots from a far distance. They might engage also. Uh, uh Sis Jenny here. We have uh, Skynen just right above. Where Tunny is at. And Cuckoo, take a look at the map. <laughs> oh, what? Now AOG got the circle again. It's kind of like Aaron Gill. Yeah, and, um, oh no, two players okay. down for Orange Esports. They didn't realize the team day is here. Now Skynin is the, the third man down. Uno will be the final member. <laughs> For Team Orange. Oh, he didn't know near is upstairs. Two. Oh, but Snoop got it the was kill. AOG, what? What? <laughs> it's mind boggling, Cuckoo. Like how? In the world. How, how how good can you be in third partying? <laughs> oh, but Zen will actually burn alive there with the Molotov. Nice play coming from. Oh. Suicide Squad, but Suicide Squad will have to wait for that Molly to actually go off. Now, Fluff is trying to go for that grenade, just trying to throw it right beside them. Oh, oh no, the spectator oh, no. is, is messed up. <laughs> oh, and uh, oh, uh, look at DVT right now pushing Day. Uh, knows he's the only guy alive. I don't know, is this gonna be the end of Day? Ay, ay, ay. Ah, uh, DVT pushing, 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 and he's uh, outside. Ah! And the side here, and Wasabi goes down. Oh, that's it. But unfortunately, Nosy is able to regain one more guy up. And, and, and by the way, on the other hand, I was spectating R4MG getting wiped out ah, by a yeah, uh, by a Thai team. And look at, look at AOJ just pot shotting all of these other teams around them. Again, being in the middle can be a, a, a an advantage and a disadvantage because if you are in the middle, no one is actually around you, like very near you. You can just like fire away your gun from all angles. Yes, uh, I would say that and everybody is rendering. It's so funny. I'm seeing everybody flying from one place to another place. So it's really a bloodbath right now. A battle of bullets. Oh my god. I, I can't even open anybody. Okay, wait, I can. <laughs> oh there we go. Suicide Squad, I think, just got wiped out with the help of TDX. And Tokyo Striker. And then we have here Blacklist together with Diaz on the north side. Circle still with AOJ. Wow. Wow. AOJ might just get this another chicken dinner. Uh, they just got it the first one earlier. And this might just be Diaz to bring home for the last match of the day. And actually, Suicide Squad is still alive. Fluck is still yeah, alive and standing. Oh, and a grenade coming in from Fluck. Another one. We'll try to eliminate Ooh. Sayuri. Oh, there you go, uh, Sayuri. Go back to the lobby. Nice grenade landing on the... Oh, but from afar, look at that TDX. Uh, getting that last hit to SES and Suicide Squad eliminated at number 9. And, and look, X-Force. X-Force really love to just uh, sneak out, like, behind you or, <laughs> you know, just yeah. hide. Just hide at uh, the very uh, behind, you know. But yeah, again, circle, circle is just really lucky now with AOJ. I think they they mm -hmm. bought the circle for like hundred UC. <laughs> <laughs> but we still have teams uh, over on Ooh, the south side trying to get. Oh, it can't, yes. can't. Claire is getting knocked out. Right, and ooh, we have uh, another one from above. TDX has pushed. What? 
They, they, they have a choice to get inside the circle, but no, they will push because they are the boss in the final two games. Now, three kills in their bag here. Pakistan in the bag. But look at Pikachu. Pikachu is just trying to hide here now. I, he realizes that uh, Team 10 is now pushing. So, again, he just try to wait out here, but again, it's going to be a, a numbers advantage here. Yes, and wow, I'm just looking at everybody fighting. It's so hard to see uh, who I should be looking at, honestly. Aeons gets knocked. Blacklist now on the verge of getting killed oh, here. Oh, Deus knocked out in the buggy. Ay, ay, ay. But look at TDX right now. TDX getting third party coming from D. Ooh, Deus. Ability, only Deus. one player left. Real K is the more. last guy, right? Mm -hmm. One player left for Diaz and one player left for ESDK Rivens. And uh, the rest of them have accomplished to get into the zone. And guys, we have the top three teams who is battling out right now. This is TDX on uh, Tokyo Striker, AOJ, and also Day. And look Remember at JSWW. He will try to burn Team Tokyo Striker here, but unfortunately, it's way too short. Again, the, the, the players from Day is just firing at will behind uh, Team TDX H2E. Circle is now with them. What a, a lot of hardships happening. What? Yeah, a lot of hardships here. Definitely, uh, the system kind of know this is the last match for them. And definitely, they have to use out of their wits in order to get uh, everybody's uh, outsmart each other. But Day goes down, nosy, being spotted by Alas, even though he's at the reach, uh, at the perimeter of the zone here. And Alas just uh, commanding his team. Claire and Aeon's going together. Still happening uh, some engagement here with TDX and... Uh, Team Tokyo Striker. Tokyo Striker really doesn't have to move at all. And now Aeons yeah. is now taken down by Real K and now will be eliminated there. Circle is now moving. They have to move as well over at the north side of the circle. Oh, but Real K will be eliminated by Trickster of AOJ. Now Nier will be taken out. Now Alas will not. Oh no, Blacklist will be eliminated there at fourth. And now we see here Pikachu is hiding. Tokyo. Oh, but being seen there by Dread. Well done. Now, two teams left. AOJ or TDX. Guys, and this is the moment of truth. Who will win that last chicken dinner? I tell you guys, if TDX here is going to win this chicken dinner with this amount of kills that they have, they might just take over the position of, uh, I think, uh, Tok Tokyo Army Striker. of Justice. Or Arm uh, or Tokyo yeah, yeah, it could be. It could be either yeah. way, yeah. And then, this is just a really good push coming from the Pakistanis. Uh, Jacob M6 Dread and JS Double W. We have uh, yes. them fighting against four players of AOJ. 4v4 situation. Yeah. What a classic match here. Kind of like TDM in Miramar. Yes, and apparently the kills difference is big uh, because CDX is on the advantage right now with 10 kills. Right, and now grenades are just raining down from both sides. Oh, Ooh. Dread gets blacked down, and this might be it. This might be a push here. Oh, oh but by getting Jacob. Oh, it's a trade-off here happening here. It says Jenny, what an interesting final moment. Match. It's going to be... Are they going to prioritize the revive? Uh, what's happening to Fall? Fall! Ay ay ay, Fall goes down first. It's gonna be a push from TX here, guys. Oh, but nice push here. Coming from Trickster. Trickster will try to hide. Dread will be Aye. hit from the side now. Only Aye. one player left, I one think, more. coming from AOJ. It's Snoop. Uh, will Snoop clutch it? Snoop will try to try. Oh, oh no, there you go. What a play. AOJ nice. getting two chicken dinners in a row. What a push. <laughs> For the Burmese squad, again, from Myanmar, AOJ, Army of Justice. And you know what? You know, it's just Jenny. I would like to yeah. tell you this. AOJ, they started together with me here on GameLink. Like, uh, a year ago, when we were starting exhibition matches, AOJ were joining already. And now look, look how far they traveled now. Look at how far... Yeah. <laughs> they are in now here on Gameling. They're now getting 
chicken dinners twice here in the finals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was really a good tactic uh, and how they push. They kind of push together as a team uh, for either side. So it was really a win-win situation. It could have been TDX, it could have been AOJ, but then AOJ really, really step up the notch and uh, decide to be the feisty ones to come and chase TDX away. <laughs> right, and again, congratulations to the winner-winner chicken dinner team, AOJ. TDX, though... What a valiant effort. <laughs> what a valiant effort from the Pakistanis here. Getting a total mm -hmm. amount of 13 kills. I know, right? Look at the kills. They are just like killing bots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and you know what? Instead of going just in the circle, they pushed Tokyo they push. Striker and pressured yeah. them so much that Pikachu can't even use Thunderbolt. <laughs> That's a nice one, but <laughs> you are right, man. They were just stuck under the cave, being a caveman for a while, but it did not happen for Tokyo Striker. But uniquely, this match, if you realize, the top five position is actually the top five teams also reflected in the scoreboard. <laughs> right, right. And uh, again, valiant effort as well for Tokyo Striker. Uh, I, think Pika uh, I think Pikachu needs to evolve to Raichu now for the yes, next tournament. Yes. <laughs> and you know what i think the scores is done oh really let's see let me confirm that yes it is but before we proceed with that sis jenny let me just show the others here in our scores for the final match at mm -hmm. least uh the fans know how their teams fare well here in the final match there you go zoom's able to get 15th at least right yes <clears throat> and before we show you the results <laughs> 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 I like it when I uh, try to, you know, get the the, the people Surprise. get the people excited. You know, let's try to pop things things up first here, says Jenny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> again, before we go, again, this is Cuckoo TV, and this is uh, sis Jenny on to my left. Uh, this is the PUBG Mobile Game Link Coronation Season Two. That was the final match of the tournament. We're gonna see you uh, probably. Uh, <laughs> I think third week of December or might be next year already because we ended the tournament December 2nd. It's already December 2nd. Wow. <laughs> I know. It has been a month. This coronation was very, very long, but we have traveled very far and most of the teams have performed their best. And um, like I said, this is a tournament. Uh, there will be new winners and nobody is losers because all the teams that actually made it this far deserve a big fat round of applause because it's yeah. not easy to get there. How do, you, how do you do a big fat round of applause? <laughs> <laughs> it's like big and fat like that, you know? Like a chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> how, how cute that was. But anyways, guys, again, this is Gameling again. Don't forget to like, follow, and share Gameling on Facebook so that you can get updates regarding tournaments with all the games out there mobile or even in P on pc uh for the meantime guys we will show you now who will be crowned the kings of the coronation <laughs> so who will be the who will be the king of the north <laughs> all right let's see I let's see it's gonna be day i think so <clears throat> yeah it's gonna be a day so let's see All right, there you go. Wow, what a push. What a push from AOJ. Coming from top eight, now a top number two. I mean, we are already sure that they would be top number one. And uh, if you can do the honors here, says Jenny, tell them which uh, team gets uh, rank one to five and how much they will win. Ah, all right. Thank you, Cuckoo, for that. So at number one, we still have Day from Thailand again, guys. Thailand, the region of smiles, the land of smiles, but also the land that wins uh, the five. Sorry, the two thousand uh, dollars prize money for the very first position in global finals, and uh, with one hundred and sixty-six points, that's a whole lot. And seventy-three kills. They have been consistent from their first battle until the end uh, for the matches that they have played. And number two, our Army of Justice or AOJ from Myanmar will bring home um, 
a thousand dollars at the second position uh, with 105 points and 49 kills also good points and good kills and number three suddenly popping out of nowhere out uh, of from nowhere. our out of nowhere bro you know how far they were in the scoreboard just now and they poop push their way into not only top five with at number three the pakistan team tdx 104 points but check out the kill bro wow <laughs> they were almost at the same kill count as team day it's but the and thing the, 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 the thing is with tdx h2e they didn't really have good placement points because sometimes yeah. they get killed early and then yes. th today they basically just went all out right yep yeah, they went all out today. Uh, the the games the game style change. I wish they kind of realized it earlier. Probably they might just be uh the competitors of day. At least day has another competition for them because they have been at the top from yesterday and be like, oh no competition. It's okay. I'm on top. You know that kind of feeling. Yeah. But uh, TDX uh getting uh not walking not going home empty handed. They will bring home a a six hundred dollars at number three. Right, and then at number four we have Tokyo Striker, another another team from the Thailand region, uh, with hundred and four similar points to uh, TDX here and fifty six kills, uh, bringing home four hundred dollars, uh, sing dollars, um, being at number four, and lastly at number five, which is SIG Com Eddie by ATD, uh, with seventy nine points, thirty five kills, a break is going to bring home $200 at number 5. So, guys, honestly, the winner of this uh, global finals is actually the Thailand region. The amount that they bring home as a total for these three teams is actually $2,000 plus 400 plus 200 So, that means it's $2,600 for the Thailand team. Wow. <clears throat> that was yeah. just a lot of money for mm -hmm. the Thai region. They can, they yeah. can go for... Uh... A buffet afterwards right <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm getting hungry i will eat after this one maybe some a few, a few snack snacks here but anyways guys we would le <laughs> like to also thank all of the other teams who participated we have esdk ravians limited rampage both from malaysia from myanmar we have ds esports from thailand we have divinity thailand and suicide squad from mongolia unfortunately Team Legacy just went all the way down from second all the way down to 11. Mm -hmm. Next is Reborn for Megadis from Myanmar, Team X Force from Cambodia, and Jar Esports. Unfortunately, they didn't play the last game at 14th. Then Blacklist International from my country, the Philippines. Kudos to you guys. Onyx Esports from Thailand, and the two, uh, two teams from Cambodia. Anchor PUBG Esports and Orange Esports. Again, guys, Orange thank e you very much for participating. Again, for the mm -hmm. other uh for the other teams, I, I think uh other teams won one hundred. Yeah, they won one hundred Sing uh, Singaporean yeah. dollars if you mm -hmm. actually get the top number one spot in mm -hmm. your region. So again, there are yeah. also other winners, which we will actually show uh on a graphic when we post it on our facebook page so please stay tuned for that um if you want to actually get your price money all you need to do is go to your wallet uh did you know did you know did you know this says jenny or not yet not yet oh not yet okay for you to get your price money guys all you need to do is just log into your accounts on www.gameling.net or you can download the app it's much easier if you download the app go to your wallet and then you can actually get your price money from there because it'll ask you for which bank account we will transfer your price to and it will also ask for uh, personal information such as your name your phone number and all those other stuff so that's how that's how secured gambling is because because before we didn't have that type of process there were some some people trying to you know trying to redeem their price and even if they're not like say for example they're not face clan they're trying to uh, redeem their price. Uh, redeem the price. So again, here with gambling, your price is secured because the only way for you to get the price is for you to log into your own accounts. Yeah, right. And definitely, we will get you covered for that. So 
this goes to all the prizes that all the teams have won, including the region finals champion. Right. And um, any final words here before we go, um, says Jenny, any final words to all the viewers? I don't know. I'm quite sad. Uh, mixed feelings, actually, <laughs> because it has been really good uh, volume for the teams that actually participated. In fact, uh, some of the teams that you don't see uh, with us tonight are actually in PMGC. They actually played for the semi-global, but they didn't qualify into the final. But it's good because if they did qualify, then they can't play for the PMGC. <laughs> right. That is correct. And that's one of the teams is Zeus Esports, right? Yes, and power rated it. So um, I'm actually quite sad because there's a, there are good teams that actually qualified to the final round. It's actually better response than uh, our Ace of Asia. So it is definitely an honor uh, for all of us, including myself and Kuku, to see all these teams uh, that, tr that perform for us uh, tonight. And we get to see how they play. And all of these can be a part and parcel for our learning process in the PUBG industry itself. Right. And guys, <clears throat> for me, I mean, uh, before actually I talk, uh, why don't you promote your page, Sis Jenny? So um, I'm Sis Jenny. I'm from Singapore and um, I don't do streaming, but I just do casting. So uh, I will do a whole lot of casting in my page and there's nothing much except for casting. But but guys, um, the casting that will be made, definitely there will be... Uh, most of the games that will be played, there will be some teams that you will recognize from the uh, PUBG inter uh, PUBG official tournament. So I would tell you guys, uh, I would say that it is definitely a recommendation for you to learn. Those of you who are going to be, uh, you know, want to train as a pro player, go watch this kind of tournaments and uh, you'll get the hang of it. Yeah. What about you, Kuku? Well, for me, I would like to promote my page again, add more followers to my 10K+. <laughs> that I just got recently. <laughs> so guys, don't forget to follow me on, on, on my Facebook page. That's uh, www.facebook.com forward slash Gaming. <clears throat> I'm also on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram. Uh, also on YouTube. Just look for uh, look for Cuckoo TV there on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and also subscribe to Game Link's YouTube channel as well. Again, more yes. subscribers. Again, more tournaments to come more i mean more registrants more tournaments again if if you you know if you show us that you love these tournaments by joining in definitely we will have more to come uh before this this year ends or even after 2020 and hopefully the pandemic will end as well says jenny because we, we are missing a lot of land tournaments or offline tournaments right and yes that's one of the plans actually uh by our league ops is uh to do such offline tournaments for gaming but anyways guys uh i'd like to also thank all of the viewers who commented who are still watching right now we still have 143 viewers here on on uh, facebook on youtube we still have 10 10 viewers so hi to everybody <laughs> <laughs> and guys we love you very much uh mm -hmm. what else can i say um you can catch me this coming Saturday, guys, on the PPGL PUBG Mobile Tournament. That's the grand finals for the PH region, and that's a big prize pool as well. It's actually bigger than the 5,000 Singaporean dollars of uh, of Coronation. Yeah, it, it's uh, around more than, uh, probably around 8,000 or going 9,000, something wow. like that. Oh, right. awesome. And uh, it's, it's, it's sponsored by the biggest telco company here so that's why but anyways you can catch me there and you can also catch ray 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 was supposed to be the the, the, the shout caster in place of jenny but thank you very much for sis jenny for taking over uh hopefully uh ray ray you're in good place <laughs> and we will see you on saturday guys anyways congratulations to everyone we, we bid you farewell we'll see you on the next tournament this is cuckoo tv and Sis Jenny is signing out. Stay safe. Stay home. Don't go out if it's unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, and have a good night, so, everybody. Yes. Let's all rest up, and we we both will will eat some food after this. <laughs> I'm going down to eat with my family. They are waiting for me. <laughs> all right. See ya. <laughs> bye. Okay. Bye, guys. Boo 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 boo. Choo choo. Bye. 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 <laughs>